to work now hi everybody hello hey hey it's it's us hey. look at us who'd have thought wow who'd have thunk it uh hi hello everybody there is will right before this podcast you told me there was nothing to talk about i mean there's there's news you put like 15 stories well in here. look <laughs> here, here's the problem with there's just, i under, here, here's I, the problem yes. well they might not understand okay so let's okay. look there's news to talk about. There is a lot of things to talk about. However, coming up with the main topic of discussion for the show is always the hardest part. Yes. And this week, there is no real meaty thing we could like say. Nothing top meaty. Of, top of the news tonight, folks. You know, nothing to name the show after. So Correct. Hence uh, why we dipped into the bag of tricks. Yeah, so the bag of tricks today, we're going to do... We decided we're doing a tier list of every Nintendo Switch Online retro game that is yes. out right now. Because <laughs> Nintendo Switch Online retro stuff is hot. Yeah. It's hot right it's now. Hot. We're, get, we're getting uh, two new consoles now. We're getting uh, new games for the Nintendo 64. The big yeah. one, Trots, not too long ago. So it's in the news a lot. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I feel like I just heard a breaker switch. Did you hear that? Yeah. I heard like a click. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, it's your house. That's not good. So. Uh, yeah. Tier Maker did not have any good lists. They had uh, for each individual system. They didn't have like one overall for all of them. Yeah. So we're going to do it ourselves, Dan. Yes. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll start with NES because that's the first one that, yeah. that that's out. So mm -hmm. I'm just on the Nintendo switch online website because it okay. has all of yeah. the stuff listed okay do you have that up pull uh, that up. i can okay because we'll go through that the first uh nintendo.com nintendo.com well right. yeah you, uh, nintendo.com slash store slash product slash nintendo dash entertainment dash system <laughs> okay okay uh, hold on there's more uh nintendo dash switch dash online dash switch i'll get there <laughs> okay they have a list that's in alphabetical order. Uh, there's, a, you know, I underestimated how much just absolute crap they have. Oh yeah, especially like those random third party titles that you never heard of. Yeah, and they have them in alphabetical order. Yeah, this stupid switcher ain't working. Oh no, everything's broken today. Uh, I guess we'll just. Oh god. Oh no! All the intros. Go. Oh, hey everybody, welcome oh, to the Wolf Den Podcast. Everything's going absolutely horrible. First uh, try. First try. Uh, Adventures of Lolo. <laughs> I didn't even know this was on Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, I guess that just goes in the non-applicable. -appl you didn't play it, did you? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. This is going immediately right in the non-app applicable no wikipedia has a list of them i'll just go there <laughs> should we go there L link me that all right put that in the thing n a uh where is there you are okay top there's, of the keep there's gonna be a lot of na's here yeah hasn't updated yet eventually lolo is awesome well i wouldn't know uh, I did see somebody in the chat earlier say that they're announcing the Evo lineup. Um, we actually talked about that right as the show went live, so I will keep an eye on that. And when they're done, well, I'll put it in the, I'll throw it in the show notes. Oh, so this straight up has all of them. Yes, like every console. Yeah. Do we want to do it from here then? Um, you know, whatever you think. I mean, this will just give us. Everything. Oh no! It, it no it uh, okay. It does do them in order of console. I didn't. I didn't okay. see that. Okay. Yeah, I'll pull from here. Okay. Uh, we already put Adventures of Lolo. Balloon Fight. Balloon Fight's pretty good. I like okay. Balloon Fight. Um, I mean, Balloon Fight's one of those like black box NES games that are like you know might be good, but is it truly? It's like memorable? good. Uh, look, there's a lot of crap NES games. Yeah. So. In terms of NES games, this is this is going on the board. You know? I'm <laughs> yeah. gonna put it in C. Okay, I think I, that's fair. So it goes from S to E. That's what this list is. Okay. So I'm putting it in C. Got it. 
Uh, what's next? Baseball. Baseball is dog shit. Yeah. All of the all of the uh sports games are garbage. pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it all the way at the bottom. Okay. Uh, what's next? Uh, Donkey Kong. This is the arcade Donkey Kong. Yes. Um, however, it is missing a level from the arcade. And Ooh. that's, like, been a big bone of contention with, like, especially Donkey Kong purists. But, like, retro game enthusiasts all together. Right. You can play the original arcade version of Donkey Kong, but it's not a part of Switch Online. It's part of Arcade Archives. Yeah, and we hate Arcade Archives. Yes. They're, like, not great ports. So, this isn't good either. So, yeah, I wouldn't rank it higher than B, if that, just because it's missing that level. I'm putting it in... I don't want to put it above Balloon Fight. I'd much rather play Balloon Fight every day. All right, I would probably... I would, you know, then C, I guess. C below Balloon Fight. C below Balloon Fight. Because it's still fight. a good game. You but got it. the fact that it's not arcade accurate, even though it bloody well could be. Double Dragon is, uh, mm. is a U favorite. Yeah, so the Double Dragon on NES is a weird one because it's not two-player... And that's like the whole point of beat 'em ups is to do it with a friend. It's not two. It's not no oh. double dragon one on NES is not two player. So, so what double dragon do you like? The arcade version. <laughs> okay. okay. Um. So yeah, that I would. I guess I would put it in C as well. Okay. Because it's okay, but like without the the two player mode, like you lose a, a, you lose half the game then. Can you pull the tier grid onto your two up shot so we can argue? And I'm uh, I'm struggling over here. We got <laughs> we got a lot of issues. We got so technical difficulties. It's Please difficult because uh, I have to find the pictures while we're doing this. So yeah. you're getting you'll you'll get this every once in a while. You'll see the tier list. Uh, all right. So double dragon. Where would you put it? I guess I would put it in C. I guess well. Okay, uh, but I want to put it above Donkey Kong. I would put it towards the bottom. Wor- worse than Donkey Kong? Yeah. Wow, okay. All right. I feel like there are going to be a lot of Cs in the NES. <laughs> yeah, we got to be harsh with, with these because we got a lot of games to go through. Yeah. Dr. Mario. Uh, that's I a would, fun game. That's a fun game. It's still, there's a lot of bad NES games. I have to keep bringing that up. I don't think this is up. a bad one. Uh, it's not great it's good but it's not great i'll put it you know what i don't want to put it about balloon fight i like balloon i fight. think it's better than balloon fight okay fine i'll put it in b okay. there you go b seems high <laughs> i but all right i'll i'll level with you if this was game boy mm-hmm. maybe i would put it a little higher because puzzle games like that are perfect for portability console okay. not so much the only different the only thing that gives it the edge over the game boy version is it's in color and that okay. helps so okay so so where's it going it's going in c above balloon fight above balloon fight okay fine fine next uh excite bike excite bike's pretty good yeah oh god (laughs) it's it's i i find it tough to wrap my head around like because you don't just go straight you have to like worry about the heat of your bike and you have to like control a certain way and it always trips me up playing uh, Excite Bike. How much do you have to worry about all that crap? It comes up more than you think. Okay. Yeah. So where would you put it? I think this is like I like action games, and this is yeah. more action that we've gotten so far than anything else that's on here. So uh, Double Dragon is a straight action game. Yeah, but you d- don't like this version, so we had to I guess, put it. Yeah. Uh, and you know more than me about about that shit. Yeah. So. Uh. I want to put it in B. Excite Bike's good. Okay, put it in B. All right, we're in B now. We finally got an NES game in B. Okay. Um, Goose, Ghosts and Goblins. Oh God, this this game's hard. I don't like this game. Uh, uh, I know it's a crowd favorite for NES stuff, but yeah, it's it's, it's too hard. There is such a thing as too hard. I mean, I don't want to say the game is broken because I don't think the game is broken. That's right. not why it's hard. It's hard on purpose. Yeah. So, is is the challenge fair? That's the question. Is it a fair difficulty? I don't know. I don't think so. And I think the difficulty makes it not fun. But right. I'm going to put it at the top of C. Okay. Because I think it's still better than all those other games. Right. Because it's an action game with good mechanics. Yeah. Um, 
Although it is a little frustrating jumping around. It's yeah. not the best uh, mechanics. Gradius. This is a good game. This is a good side scrolling shooter. Uh, shoot 'em up game. Uh, I enjoy it. B tier, maybe. B tier. Uh, like the bottom yeah. of the, the yeah, bottom yeah, of the yeah, 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 yeah. We like, we like. This is a, this is a good shmup. Yeah. I'll put it at the bottom of B. Uh, what's next? Ice climber. This game's fun for like two seconds. Yeah, that's a, it's not like a great game. Yeah. I don't even think it's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of feels like the original Mario Brothers. Yeah, but the original Mario Brothers, at least there's like a tension to it. Okay. Like I don't feel like there's much of tension in this game. So we throw in this in C? You could but, throw it in D. Uh, ooh, you hate it that much. I thought that I hate it, just I don't think it's very good. <laughs> I just want you to know it's going below Double Dragon. Okay. That That's where, uh, and below Donkey Kong. Yeah. So it's that bad. Okay, all right. All right, I'm with you. Ice Hockey. Oh, uh, this you is- ha- You I- hate this game. Okay, I I think people got like there's like a weird cult following around this game specifically and yeah. I and I it doesn't play well. <laughs> like like right. I I get where the cult following. I think this is the best of the original sports games. Uh-huh. But I don't see where the weird cult following is coming from. Right. I don't either. I don't think there's fighting in this well, game. Well, because you liked the, the the there was a weird game that like mimicked this. I forgot what it was. Uh, called. Super Blood Hockey. Yeah, well, and you like that, right? I like that because it was like it was cartoony and like it took things to the next level. Like there was actual blood in it, and mm-hmm. there was a full story mode, and like all this wacky crap. And okay, it, like it embellished on the idea. Ice hockey on NES is just ice hockey. <laughs> okay, so. I'm inclined to put it in C somewhere. Mm-hmm. I'll put it at the bottom of C. Okay, because this is like a good game. Like I, I have, I know people that like, you know, they have people over and they and they boot up ice hockey on the NES. Yeah. Uh, so it's a good multiplayer game, but I'd rather play all the stuff that's above it. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. What's next? The Legend of Zelda. Oh boy. Uh, we better. <laughs> <laughs> So this is one of the best NES games. So I've been told. <laughs> Have you not played it? I've played it, but it's always more like I futz around with it. And I'm like, yeah. okay. Yeah, I've never gotten too far in it. Yeah. I'm going to... You know what? All right, we're going to get in trouble here. I'm putting it in B Ooh. below everything else. Oh. Because it's good. It's a good yeah. game. It's one of the best NES games. But I might rather play Gradius and Excite Bike, yeah. or I might play more of those games than I would of Zelda. Yeah, so. agreed. Zelda Two, on the other hand, I might play more Zelda Two. Ooh, now now you're looking for people to hate you. Uh, now the original Mario Brothers. All right, I like this game. I okay, know weird. I know it's an arc- like a weird arcade game that has like two levels and you just repeat them over and over again. But I think it's fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, I don't. I I think I mostly enjoy it because it was a mini game in Super Mario Three. Yeah, we played it in the mini game version yeah. like a couple. That's times. the thing. Like it's fun in short bursts, mm-hmm. but you know, not as a full game. I don't think so. I I mean, I would put it maybe top of C. Okay. Because I I do think it's fun. It's just insubstantial as a game on its own. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm with you. I I th- I think of. I think Mario did a lot better for himself when he became super. Yes. I think that this is not a good representation of Correct. any Mario game. Mm-hmm. I think it's not a good representation of the franchise at all. But yeah, fine. We'll throw it in C. C is going to be like the domain of NES games. Yeah. Uh, now we got pro wrestling. Never played it. I don't know anything about this so. game. I'm going to throw it in. We have a non-applicable section. Yeah. So if we if haven't we played cannot. it. Yeah. If we haven't played it or... Don't know. I, oh, wait, I did play this. This one? Yeah, I played all of the original NES games uh-huh. for a video, but I don't remember anything about this game, <laughs> so I'm just going to throw it in. in uh, this game is most famous for the victory screen uh, that reads, a winner is you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> River City Ransom. This is a good game. This is a damn good game. Okay. This is um, this is a side-scrolling beat-em-up with uh, two-player support. Uh, oh. And... It's got a lot of depth for an NES. Baller. Oh yeah, this is better. This yeah. is better this, than this, is, uh, this is probably Dragon. the best beat 'em up on the NES. Okay. 
So I would put this in A tier, honestly. A tier. I would, yeah. Okay, you know I'm I not think, gonna fight I think you. this game's got a lot going for it. It does. It has like a. It's got great. It has an economy. It has a full economy, it's and got it has a, weapons and, and stuff that you can pick up, and uh, a lot of character to it. Like all the enemies you attack, like speak, and like the little sprite animations are really well done. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I would put that game in A tier. Okay, I I'm willing to agree with you. I think it is one of the better uh, NES games. Yeah. Now we have uh, soccer, <laughs> which has a horrible cover. Yeah, and uh, not a good game. I'm gonna put it with baseball in, in E, which is the lowest okay. tier that we have. All right, I, I might change that to F. I can't speak to that, so I'm gonna. I'm the, I I think all of the sports games are pretty bad yeah. on the NES. Uh, next is Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers Three. All right, so. So just are put you, them in S tier. I was going to say, yeah. are you going to fight me on no, this or them, what? Just put them in S tier right, and we'll move on. All right. Well, I got to take a second to grab the box art. <laughs> okay. Um, now, there's going to be a lot of S tiers. Well, maybe not. I mean, look, Nintendo has a long history of S tier games. True. Like, that is just an indisputable fact. Mm-hmm. So, there are going to be a lot of S tier games. That's... It's just what we consider S tier games and what they consider S tier games. They being the audience. So Super Mario Bros. three or Super Mario Bros. one, which one's better? That's that's always the discussion. Well, I, if we're if we're going by this isn't like hmm. I feel like this is a mix between all right, so this isn't really our favorite to play. It's more so what we think are the better games. Or I guess yeah. it's a mix between the two. Well, yeah. I think Mario 3 is the better game. Yeah, I think for so, sure. too. sure. They're both fantastic, though. Yeah. So they're both S. Okay. Right. And there's a better version of Mario 3 on Nintendo Switch yeah. Online now. <laughs> uh, okay, Tecmo Bowl. Uh, so I can't really speak to Tecmo Bowl. Okay. Because like, I never really played it. Um, but I can say that the legacy of this game is yeah. insane. People are still updating the roster for Tecmo Bowl to this day. <laughs> Still a sports game going in E, but a t- uh, above it, all the I other would probably sports put it at the games. Top of the e, yeah, honestly, no, it's going above like, all the other ones. I played it and it was okay. Mm-hmm. It was very confusing, especially because I don't know anything about what's the game? Football. 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 It is a needlessly complicated sport. It is very, yes. It is needlessly complicated. <laughs> Tennis, I remember being hot trash. <laughs> I remember tennis being like impo- I just googled image search tennis. Yeah, just just tennis. That's not what I want. Uh, I remember this feeling like impossible to play for some reason. Yeah, um, uh, I don't. Know. I can't really say anything about. You know it. what? I'm gonna put it in non applicable okay. just because I my memory might be. Might be effed up for that mm-hmm. one, and then Yoshi, Yoshi, which is which is like a puzzle game. Yeah, it's uh, not a great puzzle game. No, honestly, no. I would put it in C. Yeah, this was bad. This was a bad. I remember. Yeah, this now. I, this I, I wouldn't put it this any higher than C. Uh, I might put it in D. Okay. I need cover art. It, it's fine for like a minute, and then it's just uh, isn't anymore. <laughs> I it. It's it's yeah it's it's like it's repetitive. It's repetitive. It's very simple, but also at the same time, like uh, you feel like you're not there's not much you could do in in the puzzle. You're just kind of yeah. dealing with whatever's thrown at you, and like like there's no not real any real strategy to it. It's just yeah. random. Uh, yeah, I I it, it I didn't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one in. Where's it going? D. Yeah. Put it at the bottom of D, below Ice Climbers. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Uh, are we going to count the SP games? Like the, the Legend of Zelda SP and like the special? Oh, the special? No, we're All not right. counting special. Right. So the next is NES Open Tournament Golf. Um, I'm going to put this in NA. Okay. Because we didn't play it. Should I even put NA games? Maybe I should just not put them on the list. All right. Just well, to I- save time. Uh, so NES Open Tournament Golf, and then Solomon's Key and Super Dodgeball. I can't speak to any of those. Yeah, games. I haven't played any of these games. We're just gonna Although, skip right over them. If I think, I think Super Dodgeball is technically a River City Ransom game. Yes, it is technically a River City Ransom game. Excuse me? 
Co- so in Japan, River City Ransom is part of the greater Kunio Kun series. Oh. So Super Dodgeball is a Kunio Kun game. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks like River City Ransom. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. All right, well, we're skipping over those. Yeah. Metroid. Not a good game. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Metroid oh my 1. God. Not a good game. But in terms of NES games, it's pretty good. Is it, though? I think this is one of the better is NES games. Yes. I, I mean, I you run know. around for uh, with, with like a chicken with your head cut off for a while trying to figure out what to do, but I think it's better than a lot of the other stuff we got on here. All right. All right. I'd rather play Metroid than Donkey Kong. <laughs> I, I would not. <laughs> I'm putting Metroid above Dr. Mario. It's better than that. Come on, give me that. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I really did not enjoy You really it. hate this game that much? I really did not enjoy playing regular Metroid. You lo- you I love, love Metroid. I did not like this. Yeah, game. you like Super Metroid a lot. Yeah. Super Metroid fucking rules. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Spoiler alert, that's gonna be an S tier game. Okay. I believe you. Uh, Mighty Bomb Mighty Jack? Bomb Jack. I don't know anything about Mighty Bomb no, Jack. Twin B, I don't know. Adventures of Lolo, one, one and, and two. two. Well, we've been told they're good games. We've been told they're good games. Ninja Gaiden. I like Ninja Gaiden. It is very, very it's hard. Very hard. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is the first one. The first. We one. always play the second one. Yeah. Um. I mean, they're not that dissimilar from each other. Yeah, you're right. The big thing about like that I can tell between one and two is on in two you can actually wall climb, and one you just hang there. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, but you still use that to wall jump and stuff. Yeah. Uh, all right, Ninja Gaiden. I, I actually like this a lot. I would put it in B. Yeah, I'm gonna put it. In, I might put it at the top. Okay. Because I'd rather play this than anything else that's yeah. in that's in B. <laughs> it's going. It's going way above everything else right now. Uh, but River City Ransom is still above that. And you know yeah. what? I I I I I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, next we got Wario's Wario's Woods. Woods. This is a puzzle game, isn't it? Yes, this is a puzzle game. Uh, I'm trying to look at what type of puzzle game. It's been a long time since I played this. I know it as trivia because it is the last officially licensed NES game to be released in North America. And it's the only NES game to feature the ESRB rating. Oh. It's that type of puzzle game. Okay, so it's like a Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I'm going to say non-applicable because I've never played it. Uh, Blaster Master. Blaster Master is pretty good. Okay, I feel like I haven't played it. The thing about Blaster Master is the later versions of this game, like on Switch, mm-hmm. are better. Okay. Um, I would put the. I mean, I would probably put this in B because you could do a lot in an NES game. Like you can explore okay. in your car, the Land Master. You can get out and uh do like an overhead style exploration level Be- above or below zelda below okay yeah because bottom like I, of b then yeah because like i said the later like blaster master zero and like those games are better mm-hmm. uh ghost and goblins sp joy mech fight i don't know that oh that's where the guy comes from the guy from uh oh that guy the guy yeah he has a name yeah do i know it oh he's got a name that like is a meme. Oh, Sukapon. Oh, yeah. Because I remember there were. I was at a party, mm-hmm. and there were these girls that were like, "Oh no, Gre- it was Greg's party," and he was like, "Bob, these people want to ask you a question." They're uh-huh. like, "That this guy, this guy from what's what's he from?" And I was like, "Oh, I know him from Smash Bros. I don't know his name yeah. though." Like, could you find out his name? I was like, "I could absolutely find out his name. I'm the nerd. Of course, you find out his name." <laughs> And then I was like, oh, his name's Suck Upon. And then they both at the same time go, Suck Upon these nuts! <laughs> they they wanted you to do that. Uh, yeah, no, they they absolutely rolled me. <laughs> I got nothing to say about Joy Mech Fight. I didn't even know he me was from either. that. I thought he was from uh, Earthbound or something. I don't know. Zelda 2. Uh, uh, I might have. <laughs> so I said I would rather play this game. I've never played this game. I have. It's it's weird. Okay. It's very strange. It's a very strange game. It's not a bad game, I don't think. But it's not... It, it, it's just so weird, especially in the context of the Zelda series. Okay. Because it's so different. I would probably put this next to the original Zelda. Which side? Left or right? Left is better. Right is worse. Right. Right? Okay. Yeah. So we got a you know why Blaster I put it, Master. I would put it worse than... The first one, because it's that weird thing where there's an overhead map 
And every two feet, you have to do a random encounter. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. The random encounters are the side scroll and stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. I yeah. thought it was all side scroll. No, there's an overhead map that goes into side scroll and segments for like villages and dungeons and random encounters. Okay, weird. I did not know yeah. that. Uh, I'm going to save my file here while I'm at it. Boop. Okay, where are we at? What, what, uh, what Kirby's Adventure. Oh, the NES game. Yeah. It's okay. It's, yeah. It's, it's inoffensive. It's inoffensive. <laughs> um, It's better than a lot of NES games. Yes. But it's... A lot of these Kirby games are just too easy and like boring because yeah. of it. And this one doesn't have copy abilities, I think. Okay. Something's weird about this one. It doesn't have yeah. something that is necessary for Kirby. <laughs> um I'm gonna put it at the bottom of B. Okay. Oh, this one does have the copy ability. What doesn't it have? It, it's missing something. Uh... Kirby just sucks in this one. <laughs> <laughs> It's the first Kirby game to depict Kirby in color. Okay. And yes, was the first one to have the copy ability. Yeah. Oh, so it didn't have it in the Game the Boy game version. Boy I'm version. confusing with the Game Boy yeah. version. Uh, okay. I'm going to put it at the bottom of B. I mean, okay. I'd rather play it than Zelda. Right. Would you... Do you have any thoughts on that? I mean, I would probably play it first over Zelda. Yeah, because just because that's more of what I'm used to. I'm gonna put it above Zelda. Okay. Got some weird takes so far. We do. I feel like we'll have better takes like the later in the later system. Yeah, when the games get better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next is Super Mario Brothers Two. Oh, yikers! The uh, American one. The American one. Yeah. Doki Doki Panic. <laughs> Yeah. This uh, is a good game. It's a good game. It's a good game. You're, you're, you're it's right. It's a good game. You're right. It's a good game. You're I right. would put this in A tier. Okay. Because it like forget the fact that it's like a weird game. It's not a real Mario. It's not game a Mario game. game. That's that's my problem with it, but I have to agree. It's a good game. I have to put that aside. You're right. It is a, yeah. it is a genuinely good game, even if it's not a Mario game. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, I put it. I, I'm gonna put it above River City Ransom. It's better than that. Okay. You're right. It is a good game. Uh, all right. What's next? Uh, Supari Uzumao. I don't. It's a Famicom game. I do not know this game. Yeah. Uh, it, oh, is it? Uh, oh, it's a uh, sumo wrestling. Oh. Na. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fire Emblem. The Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. This is the original Fire Emblem game. Now, this is a weird one. because okay. this You is explain the... that while I flip the breaker that was supposed to. Okay. So, this game is only available in Japan on the Japanese uh, Switch Online for the Famicom, uh, as it were. This game did get released in North America under that name, Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. Uh, but it was a separate release you had to actually buy it with your own money separate from switch online and it was a limited time deal you, you can't buy this game anymore it's because the original fire emblem was never released in north america mm -hmm. and so they only released it in japan yeah i remember this was a big deal yeah. uh they had the 30th anniversary collection that you can buy uh i went when this came out i went to the nintendo store with people to buy something else and this was behind the counter and everybody yeah. else was buying this game uh it's great that they re-released this with with uh the english translation yeah it sucks that they re-released it for like 30 seconds yeah and i'm also not uh able to place this anywhere because i didn't play it yeah same so we're gonna skip it <laughs> it was yeah so yeah it was only available for a few months I don't do that nintendo kid icarus this is a good game okay. i don't know if i would consider this like above b okay but this is a fun game uh yeah i think that the like hype around kid icarus is misplaced i don't think there's any like amazing kid icarus game there, I mean, there. Look, there were only two Kid Icarus games: this mm -hmm. and a Game Boy game, and like, and then the, and then the Drought, 
the DS one, the, uh, the, the, the 3DS, 3DS one. Yeah, one. yeah, that was after like 20 years of nothing. Right. I think what happened is people built up the original Kid Icarus in their mind, mm-hmm. and then they showed up in Smash, and it was like, oh my god, and then Sakurai's like, I'll make a new Kid Icarus game, and he made something weird, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, does Kid Icarus suck? <laughs> so, so, yeah, I don't love this one. Would you say? Don't put it above what? I would put this in B. It's going at the very bottom. Okay, fine. I, I disagree, but... Okay. What would you put it above? I'm probably in the middle of B. No, I will put it above Blaster Master, and that's all okay. you're going to get. <laughs> okay, what's next? Um, Star Tropics. I haven't played it. Um, I played a little bit of it. I haven't played enough to like be authoritative on it, but I know this is like... Uh, this was this was never released in Japan. This is a Nintendo first party title that was only released in Nintendo in North America and Europe. Okay, it is a more Western style action adventure game that's most famous for you have to decipher a code, a hidden code, by actually dipping the instruction manual in water, and it reveals. Oh my god! Message. Yeah. So and there was a sequel to this game that has never been re released. Oh my god! Yeah. So that's. I know a lot of games solely for trivia. Not so much for <laughs> actually playing them. So we're not placing that one. Yeah, the, I wouldn't I wouldn't place the that next one. The next one is Ye R Kung Fu. Oh, is this Kung Fu? This is I think this is just straight up Kung Fu. No. Kung Fu has a weird Oh, it's not. It's, it's not, not Kung, Kung Fu. Fu. No, this is not. This, this is a different else. Kung Fu. Yeah. So I don't know this one. I don't know this one either. Uh Punch Out. Uh, would I put this in A tier? Because it's good. It it's is good. Very good. And it it's up there with the best uh, NES yeah, games. Yeah, I'll put it sure. in A tier. Let's all do right. It. Let's do it. Putting it, uh, all right. We got Super Mario Brothers 2. We got River City Ransom. Where are you going to put this? Bottom of A tier. Okay. That's fine. It's right there. That's where I put it. Yeah. It is a very good game. Yeah. But it is a lot of like, uh, memorization and playing over yeah. and over and over again uh star soldier don't star know this one soldier now, LMAO, video what is, game what developed it, by hudson soft i don't know anything about this yeah game. what is ranking games as well did he steal it from us i think he's ranking the zelda games oh well we can't do that yeah this i think was an idea that hannah took that hannah wanted us to do on the nintendo podcast okay but yoink we're doing there it you here. go also uh the non nintendo podcast what doesn't like you know do retro games you know no no always looking like, forward never looking back exactly we should fix that. i mean here he is he's talking about zelda stuff all right well you know but, next next time we hang out woodrow i'm gonna i'm gonna fix you <laughs> it's important to know your history mario the lost levels okay I like these, but they it might be the worst of the 2D Mario games. It's just it's this is on this game is unfair. It's unfair. The, the, it's poorly designed levels. Yeah. I'll I'll say that. So, yeah, I would not I would probably put this in at most B tier. Yeah, cuz it's still a Mario game, so it's still fun to play. Yeah. Uh but yeah, I'll I'd still rather play this than anything else. Yeah. Um, I'm putting Blaster Master below it. Okay. I'll tell you what. But yeah, it's in B. Okay. It's a good game, and it's still a Mario game, but it's probably the worst of the 2D Mario yeah. games for sure. We got Clue Clue Land. I don't know anything about that. And Clue Clue Land, welcome to the Clue Clue Land. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Welcome to the new Clue Clue Land is a Famicom Disk System port of the arcade uh, version versus Clue Clue Land. Okay. I don't know anything about that. Uh, I've seen this before. I've never played Clue Clue Land. What about Donkey Kong Jr.? I like Donkey Kong Jr. I would probably put it below original Donkey Kong. Okay. Because it's... It's always inferior to original Donkey Kong, no matter which version. Okay. Is this Donkey Kong 3? No. No. This is Donkey Kong 2? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's Donkey a... Kong 3 is a completely different... Donkey Kong 3 is a schmuck. It's currently... I know. That's what I was thinking yeah. about. That. It's currently above Double Dragon and Ice Hockey. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. 
Wonderful. Uh, next is versus Excite Bike. That's just the arcade version, then, isn't yes. it? Yes. And uh, we'll wait. Uh, versus Excite Bike. This is actually the Famicom Disk System version. The graphics and core gameplay are the same as the original Excite Bike. Um, has several distinction features that the NES and arcade version lack, including a two-player competitive mode. Uh, different music and original excite mode is based on the main mode of the arcade version with minor differences such as color palette just put it next to the i was just gonna play. not place it because it's, it seems too or similar that. it's kind of like having a uh, sp version yeah uh city connection i don't know that game uh do i know this i think i know this game yes i know this game uh let's see it's fine see? it's a fine game Okay. It's See, fine. uh, where do you want to put it? Mm, I guess between Metroid and Dr. Mario. Okay. Uh, and then next is Double Dragon Two. This is the good one. Oh, okay. Um, the this one's weird because you don't it's you don't have punch and kick. You have forward attack and backwards attack, which gets confusing. Also, it's one of those dumb games where you have to play on the hardest difficulty in order to see the entire game. Oh, that's really Because if, if you play on a lower difficulty, you only get like three levels. But it's a much better game than the first one. I okay. will put this at the bottom. Uh, what do we put Double Dragon 1? Let's see. We put it in C at towards the bottom. I would put this in the middle of B. In the middle of B. Okay, where? Maybe put it in between Zelda 2 and Kid Icarus. Okay, yeah, you got it. All right, what's next? Next is uh, volleyball. Uh, I'm just not going to place it. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of sports games. Okay. Then next is Donkey Kong 3. This is the shmup. Okay, this is good. Is it better than Junior? No. No, it's, really? It's the worst of the Donkey Kong Okay, games. it's going below all of the Donkey Kong games below in all, order. Yeah. yeah, okay. I would even put it at the end of c tier below ice hockey yeah okay you know what i'm i'm gonna concede to you on that yeah because even like it, it's one of those games where like it's fun for like a level or two and then it just like isn't anymore okay and then we got wrecking crew wrecking crew uh this is pretty good yeah it's okay uh where would you where would you put it let me think it's okay I might want to play this more than Mario Brothers. I might put it at. No, I don't. Mario no, Brothers. no, because I'd rather play. There's a lot of things in C that I'd rather play. Yeah. I'll put it above Donkey Kong. Okay, I think it's better than Donkey Kong. Controversial opinion. Is this Mario? In it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's officially Mario. Okay. It's not Foreman Spike. But he's in. No, Spike is... He's in the game. Mm -hmm. Next is Downtown Ket... Downtown Neketsu Koshinkyoku Sore UK Daiyundo Kai. I got all... This is a Kunio Kun game. There are a lot of these. <laughs> We're not. I know. I'm just trying to figure We're out not which, this at all. which one it is. This looks like a beat-em-up. Probably, oh, they're all beat yeah, okay. ups. All right, all right. All right, yeah, you can skip it. Kung Fu Hero. Is this Kung Fu? No. No. It is not. No, it is not Kung Fu. Vice Project Doom. Uh, I don't know this game. I've seen this box art. I remember when this came out, like when they announced this game. Did I play it? No. no. I'm like, what Actually, it looks kind of cool. It kind of looks like Ninja. It's made by Sega. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. Crystallis, don't know that game. Famicom Wars. That is a precursor to Advanced Wars. I've never played it. Not, I'm not placing it. Uh, Journey to Silas Route 16 Turbo. I think we're getting all of the what What are you doing Nintendo games. Yeah, this is like the end of their scrape at the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Uh, stop me if you hear any that you want to place. Atlantis No Nazo. Eliminator Boat Duel. Shadow of the Ninja, Rygar, The Immortal, Scat, Special Cybernetic <laughs> Attack Team, 
Nightshade Smash Ping Pong. Uh, hold on a second. Nightshade. Do I know? Is this the game I'm thinking of? Fire and Ice Ninja Jaja Marukun. Um, Earthbound Beginnings. Dig Dug 2, Mappy Land, and Pinball. Uh, Earthbound Beginnings we should probably put probably somewhere. Place, but like, where? I've heard it's not great. Like, it's not great. And Earthbound is, you know, it's leaps and bounds better. Oh, wait, why? Why is this not great and Earthbound is leaps and bounds? It's, oh, because this is Japanese Mother 1. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it's, like, it's one of those deals where, like, you know, it's like, yeah, Top Gun's good. But have you seen Top Gun Maverick? Yeah. So much better. Or, or I think a better example for me would be... Uh, a Blade Runner. Yeah. Like Blade Runner 1. It's like, all right. But yeah. like, it's super dated by, by the time you see 2049. Yeah. Um, um, okay, Nightshade is the game I'm thinking of. I haven't played it, but it's like a, like a hardcore detective story. <laughs> Earthbound, I'm inclined to put somewhere in C. Okay. Because I would like to play this. Because okay. of all of the, you know, magistry around it. Yeah. Um... I want to put it below Metroid. Okay. Okay. I'm doing that. That Kunio Kun game we skipped, I think, is actually a sports game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, River City Su- uh, Super Sports Challenge All Star Special. What the hell? <laughs> what a weird series. It is a very weird, weird series. Oh no, sorry, that was the re-release. This is um. Downtown Niketsu March Super Awesome Field Day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here is the list so far. These are S- these are NES games. Yeah, I'm not going to read through the list, but in S tier, we have Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Brothers, the yeah. original. A tier, we got Super Mario 2. We got River City Ransom and Punch-Out. Yeah. And that's about all I'm going to read. I'll, I'll read those after every console we go through. Yeah. Next up, uh, we'll do them in order. So we got Super, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Entertainment yes. System. Oh, there's a lot of games in here, too. Yeah. Um, Brawl Brothers. Don't yeah, know. I haven't played. Breath of Fire. Don't know. Don't know. Demon's Crest. Don't know. No. F-Zero. Wait, wait. Demon's Crest. That is a Ghosts and Goblins spinoff. No. Not doing that. Okay. F zero. Let's do F zero. F zero is good. Good. <laughs> B because it doesn't have multiplayer and it's a racing game. You should have multiplayer. Yeah, I mean it doesn't have multiplayer because it's it's graphically intensive. It was what well, was a launch game. Yeah, and I don't I don't think they figured out how to do mode seven multiplayer by that point. They didn't. They had a they had it, but it didn't run well. Yeah. Um, bottom of B because it's it's. I don't think it's, it's still that, good. It's good, but it's not like yeah, it's not F Zero X or GX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F Zero got a, a little better. Yeah, I, this one it's just like there's like mystique around it, and, yeah. and that's all that there is. Um, Joe and Mac Two Lost in the Tropics. Do we care about this? No, I haven't played it. Kirby's Dream Course is fucking awesome. Yeah, I know you really like that. Yes, Kirby's Dream. Yeah, you've never played it, right? No. All right, Kirby's Dream Course is sick. It's one of the best multiplayer games. It might be one of the best uh, launch titles for the SNES. Okay. This game is going... Do I want to put it at the top of B or at the bottom of A? I would put it at the bottom of A if you're hyping it up. I'm hyping it up a lot. I'm putting it at the bottom of A. Okay. It's very, very, very good. Okay. Next is Kirby's Dream Land 3. Kirby's Dream Land 3. Okay. This is... um. This is probably the better version of Kirby's Adventure. Okay. I haven't played this. Mm. Have I played this? We're not rating it. Okay. We're not doing it. We got to think that hard. <laughs> okay. A Link to the Past is very, very good. Yes. This is this is when this all the games got good. Yeah. This is when a lot of <laughs> uh, 2D game series got really yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, I... Where do we put this? Where do we put this? Uh, it's got to go in A. Yeah, it's got to go in A. It's got to go in A. Like middle of A? Yeah. Uh, does it go above Super Mario 2? Yeah. Okay, it's going top A. Yeah. It's it's very good. It's my it's my favorite Zelda, if we're not including Breath of the Wild. Okay. Yeah, I think I think it is my favorite Zelda. Okay. Uh next is Pilot Wings. 
I haven't played much of the of this Pilot Wings. I remember playing it a while back, like recently. Like it's good, but I don't know if it's the Pilot Wings games are like more so tech demos than anything else. Yeah, I I feel that. So I would put that maybe like in the B tier somewhere. B tier, okay. Like the middle of B or like the end of B. Maybe put it at the end of B. No. I'm going to put it between Lost Levels and Kid Icarus. Okay. I need to extend this thing. Okay. Uh, Next is Smash Tennis. No. And then next is Star Fox. Oh, Star Fox is sick. Yeah, Star. People shit on Star Fox a lot. I, mean, I, I love Star this. Fox sixty four is so much better. Star no, but like people shit on the whole series because it's just a rail shooter, and they well, they, they minimize the whole series just those, because it's a rail shooter. People should minimize the whole series because there are only two good games. <laughs> there are not many good games, no. but I think there's merit to a good rail shooter. Yeah, absolutely. Especially a game like this where. Yeah. There's varying paths, and you can play it over and over again, and and, and, yeah. and follow all of those different paths, yeah. and beat it multiple times, get all different. It's like fun. To do. Yeah. Like when I played uh, Star Fox sixty four, it was a fun little like twenty minute burst to play through the whole game. Yeah. And I would do that over and over again, and I did the same thing with Smash Brothers. I would play through like the campaign on all of them over and over yeah. again because it was fun to go through. So what would you say, A or I'm gonna put it in. Uh, bottom A. Okay. Bottom A. It's very good. Very good game. And then ne- the next is Stunt Racer FX. Uh, don't know. Don't. I've heard of this game, but I don't know it. Super EDF Earth Defense Force. Not the good e- uh, Earth Defense Force. <laughs> it's another game that just happens to be called Earth Defense. Have Force. you played it? No. All right, then skip. All right. Uh, Super, Super Ghouls, Ghouls and Ghosts. And ghosts. Uh, you 90s kids might remember this from Nick Arcade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, This is also incredibly hard. Yes. I just, wherever we put Ghouls and Ghosts, or Ghosts and Goblins, whatever the fuck it's called, just put it right next to it. Yeah, I'll put it above it because yeah. it's SNES. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's that much better. Yeah. Where did I put it? Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> Top of C. Okay. So this is going right next to that. All right. Uh, is... Next is Super Mario Kart. Super Mario Kart? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a good game, but yes. uh, it's pretty rough. Yeah. It's pretty rough by, I mean, by today's standards. 64 is better. Double Dash is better. Mario Kart 8 is better. <laughs> yeah. But you know what's not better? The, 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 Game, Boy... the Game Boy Advance version <laughs> is really bad. Yeah. I had no idea that that was the worst Mario Kart game. Yeah. And you know what? I'll be honest. I remember, like, I would play that game with my friends on the train. like The Game Boy the- Advance version? Yeah. We because- had it? No, my friend had it. Oh, okay. And that was one of the few Game Boy Advance games where you only needed one cart to play multiplayer. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And it was... That's really cool. Yeah. That brings that's, it up a, a That's cool. Yeah. And, you know, what was that? Like, 2002? That's, like, gaming can't yeah. get better than that. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, it can get so much better than that. So, does it run off of the same cartridge? Is it split screen? Like, how does that no, work? No, no. It's uh, certain modes you can play uh, off of one cart. So, you pl- you plug one cart into one system and then link up the other uh, other systems without the cart. And you can play like a four player, a regular four player match. So, how is It's all running off of one, one cart. cart. That's crazy. Yeah. And each system has its own screen. Yes. That's insane. If you if all if all four of you have the cart, you get more modes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh so Super Mario Kart for the for or, yeah, Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. Uh it's good, but it's not like probably like top of B tier or towards the top of B tier. Nah, sure. Okay. Sure. Well, sure. Sure. I like Ninja Gaiden more. I'm putting it below Ninja Gaiden. Okay. <laughs> it takes me a while to move everything. Yeah. What's the next uh, one? Next is Super Mario World. Oh, this is an incredible game. This, this is a... This is an S-tier game. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. S-tier and probably top. I might... Like... The, uh, 
I have fondness for the original Mario games, yeah. but uh, this is better. I'm willing to admit that this is better. I don't know if this is better than three, though. I think it absolutely is. Ah. Why wouldn't it be? I just feel like there's a there's a simplicity to three that world doesn't have because it tries to add a lot more to the formula that like doesn't really need to be there and doesn't really carry over to the later games. Um, it has like, the, the... like that spin jump move. Like, oh, it's so good. It is, but like, it's so do good. you use? Has that ever been used again? A fuck ton in in Mario Maker and Kaizo's. Yeah, that like that's <laughs> it. I also like the map is really nice. Uh, the 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 different paths to get all the Star World stuff and stuff is really nice. Yeah. The different endings to get out of levels is really nice. Um. It's a better game. I'm. It's a better game. Okay. I'm putting it on the top S tier. Okay. I like Super Mario Three for the simplicity, and I like picking up stuff in Mario Three and what it added to the series and whatever. Yeah. I, I like Mario Three a lot, but I think Super Mario World is mechanically just a little bit better because of the spin jump, because of the just jumping arc overall. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's slightly different in Super Mario World and a little bit better for it. And the picking up stuff works a lot better in Super Mario World than it does in Super Mario Bros. 3. Okay. So all of the mechanical differences, I think, are tweaked in a way that makes it a lot better. Okay. That's okay. what I'll say. Uh, okay. So there you go. We got just all Mario games in yeah. this tier. <laughs> uh, surprise, surprise. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. This is very good. This is very good. Uh, I never beat it. Me neither. A tier? Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't consider this an S tier game. It's definitely A tier. Is it above Zelda? No. Okay. Uh, is it above Mario 2? I guess. Yeah. Oh, it, it's very good. Yeah. All right. Next is Super Metroid. So just put that in S tier. Okay. Where? We got a lot of Marios. Where are you going to put it in, in line with all the Marios? I would say it's better than the original Mario Brothers. Even though that's down. my favorite Hands game of down. all time. Yeah. It's still all better right, put than it that. between three and Mario 1. Okay. Okay, I, I agree is, with that. It's just so good. It is very good. It's such a good game. Uh, next is uh, Super Poyo Poyo 2. Oh, okay. It's another Sega game. <laughs> that's just Poyo Poyo. Yeah. I'm not placing that. Okay. Super Soccer. No. Super Tennis. No. Breath of Fire 2. I haven't played it. Uh, Kirby Superstar, also known as Kirby's Fun Pack, is an anthology platform video game. Uh, wait, which, what games are in this? Eight games in one. Holy <laughs> shit. I, I'm not equipped to place this one. Yeah. Me neither. So uh, next is Star Fox 2. You've played this. Yeah, I really liked this game. And then every after I played it, everybody was shitting all over it. Saying it yeah. wasn't it wasn't that good compared. People were saying it wasn't a good game. And I thought it was really, really good. Yeah. I uh I think it's it's not that dissimilar from the original Star Fox. Yeah. I don't know if it's better or worse. Uh well, I remember the reason why this game was originally canceled and not released was because they wanted to move development to star fox 64 and they right. felt that this was at the time too similar to the original game right right right. so maybe that has something to do with it even though star fox 64 is just the original game. yeah <laughs> just on the n64 um i liked it a lot mostly for the mystique around it how it was yeah. like, it felt forbidden to play it because i played it uh when it was uh just a rom i played it when it was like mostly done yeah uh but not like an official release mm -hmm. um and then it became an official release and i played it a little more and it's great i'm gonna yeah. put it below the original star fox yeah. so it's in a tier it's at the end of a tier but i feel like it might be it, it's worth giving a shot. There, there's a discussion to be had whether or not it's better or worse than the original Star Fox. Yeah. I, I have to play them both to see. 
Um, but yeah, both Star Foxes are in A tier. Okay. Super Punch Out. I haven't played this game actually. Really? Yeah, You're a actually, Punch Out guy. I actually have not played Super Punch Out. I don't think I, I have either. Then probably try Super Punch Out. I have played this, just not enough to say anything about it. <laughs> Uh, Pop and Twin B. I haven't played it. No, I haven't played it. Operation uh, Logic Bomb. Nope. Panel de Pond. Uh, also known as Tetris Attack. Oh yeah. Have I played Tetris? Attack? No. No. Wild no, Guns. No. Uh, no. Uh, if this was Sunset Riders, that'd be a different story. But right. right, uh, right, right. Donkey Kong Country. Sunset Riders is bury me with my money, right? Yes. Okay. Donkey Kong Country is not that good. I'm going to put it lower than the chat's going to want me to put it. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Next is Natsume Champion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to put... Sorry, we got to put... Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, hmm. Probably a lot of C's. B? Like the middle of B? I don't think it's a C tier game. I'm going to put it below the Zeldas. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put it below Double Dragon. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that. I'd rather play it than all the other stuff that's in B, but it's really, like, it, it's it's not, as far as, as far as platformers go, it, it, I, I don't understand why people like it as much as they do. Right. All right. Uh, what have we got? Natsume Championship Wrestling. I uh, don't know. Don't care. Shin, Shin Megami Tensei. Don't know. Nope. Super Mario All Stars. All right. This is not fair because this is two S tier games and an A tier game. So by default, this goes in S tier. Well, yeah. Should we? Uh, maybe we shouldn't count this. Okay. Because we put every other game is going to be there. Yeah. This is worse versions of one, two, and three, though. You think these are worse? Yeah. Yeah. Why? This is definitely a worse version of one because you can't do the thing where you jump through the piranha plants. Oh. It, it's it's made in a in the world engine. Right. So it's it, it, and it's kind. It feels like kind of half-assed, like like remake of, okay. of one, two, and three. Okay. Um. So Griffin Griffinix says physics are off. Right. That's another part of yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. I will say I am happy this came out because. It's at the time it was a great way to get all of the games, mm-hmm. you know. It even came with World. Yeah. So right. that that's crazy. But I'm also happy it came out because people use this for ROM hacks because yeah. it has all of the assets for all of the games and mm-hmm. it's really easy to make a Mario game that's like an all-in-one. Yeah. Uh so this is great that this came out, but this game in particular I'd rather play the individual right. cartridges. Okay. I, I I wouldn't like to play them in this form. So I'm not going to place it. Got it. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, I'm not going to play. I've heard this is better than the first one. Okay. But yeah, I I I haven't played played it, so I can't. Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem. Nope. Mario, Super Picross. No. No. Placing that. The Peacekeepers. Uh, Can't speak to it. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 3, I'm not. Also can't speak. I don't think anyone really liked that game. Okay. The Ignition Factor. Can't speak to it. Uh. Kunio Kun. Another Kunio Kun. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, Sugoi Hebereke. Uh, okay. Is that Hamtaro? No. So not Hamtaro. Who who owns um, Hello Kitty? Oh, I'm having a stroke. Sanrio. Sanrio. That looks like a Sanrio game. Okay. Super Valis 4. Okay. Mm. Uh, tough. tough enough. <laughs> uh was this like a fighting game i am i think yes it's a fighting, fighting game. game developed by and released by jaleco oh who um is this the one with the weird jim lee cover it's not jim lee but it looks like it could be a jim lee it looks like an alex ross no no, no that's the japanese like look at the the english cover oh okay yeah google search the english cover it's just like a dude's yeah yeah that's it this one? Oh my god. Yeah. That looks hey, like punk, a Are you tough enough? Yeah, it does look like a like a bad like G- a Jim Lee or Layfield. Jim or Lee knockoff. Yeah. I wish I knew like who it What a bad that. cover. It is, right? Yeah. Because of the text and everything. That's yeah. so it looks so bad. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> just text I everywhere. just wish I knew who the illustrator of that cover was. 
I feel like you could easily place that if you I uh, give me a list of like that's the thing comic like, artists from the nineties. It looks like the, like all the image founders yeah. molded into one. It's got yeah. a little bit of McFarlane, a little bit of Life, a little bit of Valentino. Yeah. All right. Uh, Where are we? Uh, Doomsday Warrior. We're getting we're, we're getting, getting to the, the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna. Joe and Mac, Prehistoric Man, Psycho Dream, Shin Megami Tensei Two, Claymates, Jelly Boy, <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei. If if um, Earthbound. Earthbound, let's put that. Uh, that's a, that's definitely an A tier game. I would think. Yeah. If anything, I know apparently Earthbound is like the greatest game of all time, but. Is it really the greatest game of all time, or is it just because Nintendo didn't put it on a console for I 20 gotta, years? I gotta be honest, I haven't played it, but I feel like I want to place it. Yeah. So, I'm putting it at the bottom A. I'd rather play Star Fox. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Earthworm Earth Jim 2. I didn't know this was on here. I remember when this, like, this was an odd one, because like Earthworm Jim 1 is not included. Yeah, what the hell? Um... <sighs> So I like Earthworm Jim. What is the difference between one and two? Because I don't remember. I feel if like there's I a lot remember, of similarities. No, I think. No. So two. Every level is different. Like you had the, the, the first level is like, like a regular Earthworm Jim game was in the first game. But then every level has some weird gimmick to it. Okay. Like, you have to, like, Jim is a blind salamander. Yeah, like, like, I remember that. Yeah, there's that. You have to get all the dogs into the the house. Otherwise, if you miss enough dogs, Petey Puppy, like, there was like a monster and attacks you. But those were, like, that was, like, every other level had, like, a weird thing. It was, like, mostly a platform where every other level had, like, a thing that was, like, a mini game. Yeah. But, like, those mini games took up a lot of I like that. I remember playing. We would, like, rent it from yeah. Blockbuster. And I remember liking that weird shit. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll put it at the bottom of B. Okay. How about that? I think that's fair. Because I think it's a pretty good game. Yeah. We're running out of space here. <laughs> uh, all right. You keep reading. So Harvest gonna... Moon. No. No. Uh, I need to make room on, in B tier right yeah. now. Congo Caper, Rival Turf, uh, Fighters History, uh, Kirby No, uh, Kirakira, Kizu, and Kirby's Avalanche. Okay, that's it? That's it. Then we're done with Super Nintendo, because okay. I'm not talking about any of those games. You're not talking about Rival Turf? No. Okay, okay. so... Let's recap what we have already. Okay. Even though I have, this is a terribly designed list so far. Uh, S tier, we got uh, Super Mario World uh, as number one. We got Super Mario Bros. 3, we got Super Metroid, and we got Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. Then we have the Legend, uh, in A tier, we have the Legend of Zelda Link of the Past. We got Yoshi's Island. We got Mario 2, uh, the American one. We got River City Ransom. We got Punch Out. We got Kirby's Dream Course. We got Star Fox. We got Star Fox. Okay. Hello. Uh, future listeners. I'm so sorry. Things are going to yeah. be weird. Yes. It might be a weird 864. Oh, no. Did I do this in 1080p? Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, I need my mouse. Uh, anyway, we finished Super Nintendo. We yes, we're we're right. on to Game Boy. Uh, we're doing Game Boy now. Yes, because that's just the way they have it, and that's original Nintendo Switch Online. Then yeah. they they do the expansion. Pack. Yes. So, first up, Alone in the Dark: The New Nightmare. Oh, they're doing alphabetical. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, they're doing re- release date and then alphabetical. So. I don't want to do Alone in the Dark. Because I don't, I haven't played it. Yeah, me neither. So, I do want to play it, but I do want to play it too. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, game and Watch Gallery Three. This game sucks. <laughs> this game is bad. I played it. It's not good. Okay, where are you where are you putting it? Uh, let me E-tier. see. Game Boy. Uh, let's see. Boop beep. It goes. I'm going to put it below Tecmo Bowl in E-tier. 
So okay. our, our stream crashed. I'm going to try to show the screen as little as possible because it okay. crashed when I was switching scenes. So sorry, guys. You might not <laughs> actually get to see the tier list too much. Um, Just follow along at home with your own tier list. Yeah. How about that? Uh, Gargoyle's Quest. This game's great. Yeah. This game's actually very good. Where would you put it? It is good in comparison to a lot of the other Game Boy games we're going to be talking okay. about. So... It's very good. I'm inclined to put it at the bottom of B. Okay. Very, very, very solid uh, Game Boy game. I can roll with that. What else? Uh, Kirby's Dream Land. This is the one where he doesn't copy. Okay. This is good, but it's it's gimped because he doesn't copy. Right. And he's not even pink. No, he's white. So, so uh, I, so E tier. <laughs> it might go below Gargoyle's Quest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm putting it right below Gargoyle's Quest. Uh, next. Uh, next is uh, Link's Awakening DX. Oh, this game's great. Yes. This mm-hmm. is this is when like they started getting. I feel like some Game Boy games are like better versions of the NES games. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, and this is like the start of that. Yeah. They were like figuring out yeah. 2D game design. Yeah. On the go. This is very good. Um, it might go in A. Ooh. Bottom of A. But there it's go. going in A. There you go. Do but it. I, does, I, it might, you know what? It goes above Earthbound. Fuck it. It's our list. It's our list. I think it's better than Earthbound. Uh, okay. We got... Metroid 2 Return of Samus. I uh, have not played. Want to play. Um, yeah, I haven't played that much of it. I, pl- I yeah. played it, but not enough to place it. Okay. I-, I want to play this version because I didn't like uh, Samus Returns that much. Right. I thought it was very repetitive and weird, but I feel like I would like it more if it was in a Game Boy format because I'd be willing to put, put a- aside yeah. its weirdness. Because like, Retur- uh, Samus Returns... It was, it's a 3DS game, or I'm sorry, it's a Game Boy game with the veil of 3DS thrown on top of it. Like, yeah. it's it's mechanically really good, but the level design and the structure of all the stuff you have to go through is just Game Boy. So it like mm. feels, it's this weird sort of disjointed, like right. weird designed game. So I'm not going to play as Metroid 2. Got it. I'd I'd like to play it, but uh, uh, next is Super Mario Land Two: The Six Golden Coins. This is very good. Uh, in terms of a Mario game, it's weird and not that great because there's like this weird thing towards the end where like if you don't you get you hit a certain point where if you don't do the right thing, you get thrown back and you have to do everything all over again. That's weird. It's like a weird yeah. thing. I, I don't remember exactly how it goes, but yeah. it's something like that. I remember I got towards the end and I failed. And then I, my chat was like, yeah, you're not going to like this. You have to <laughs> fucking do everything again. Okay. Um, also, mechanically, it's weird because it's a Game Boy game. So yeah. like, there was a lot of times where I was like, okay, that shouldn't have counted. Or, or why did this happen? Um, so it's not my favorite Mario game. Uh, I will put it in B below Mario Kart. Got it. Okay. And above Excite Bike. Okay. Oh my god, I hate when I do that because I have to move so many games. What's next? Uh, next is Tetris. That goes in S tier. We are moving on. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tetris is great. Yeah, Tetris is great. Is this the best version of Tetris? It is definitely the most important version of Tetris, without question. Uh, and we will talk more about Tetris later in the show if we ever get to it. <laughs> no, this is, uh, yeah, one of the best games ever made. Yeah, <laughs> it's that simple. Uh, putting it at the bottom of fine, S. Fine, fine, but it goes in S tier. It's very good. M Skelton says Tetris is boring. Do I ban him? Yes. Okay, you heard it. Will that was from Will? Yeah. Will, Will wanted me to ban. <laughs> um, uh, Mario Land Three is very good. Yes. I uh, have not played this one. 
I have. I haven't played that much of it, but I'm. I I feel like I've played enough to to play. I played it. four. That's the one I played. Top of B. Okay. Top of B. Very good. And then next is Yakuman. Yakuman. I don't know that game. I don't know. Either. I think it's it's uh, Japanese only. And that's it for the games that are already out. Next is uh, Kirby Tilt and Tumble, Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, Trading Card Game, Pokemon Trading Card Game, and Kiru no Tame ni Kan wa Naru. Now you've decided you don't want to do games that aren't out yet. No. And you know what? I can't place any of those. Yeah. I haven't played any of those games, so I right. can't even place them. In. Oh, c- Trading Card Game, though, I have. And it's good. Yeah. But no, we're, we don't have to place those. Okay. Uh, now we're moving on to the expansion pa- pack, which starting is starting with Nintendo 64. Starting with Nintendo 64. Uh, Doctor Mario 64. Uh, I I haven't played it. To be Me honest. neither. <laughs> you know, before we do this, we've completely neglected all of the notifications that we That's got. True. Let me go through that. That's true. Richie to Retro, thank you for the ten months. I haven't watched the podcast since June of last year. I have binged all the episodes I missed, and now I'm caught up. Oh my oh, god, wow. that's crazy. Yeah. Because it's like a topical podcast. Yeah. Uh, but thank you. Codex, thanks for the Prime. Seesaw, thanks for the 28 months. Tynology, thanks for the 22 months. Photoshop tier list, brilliant. Uh, Geo Lucas, thanks for the two months. Stop by to use my Prime to sub the best podcast. To support the best podcast I listen to. I'm looking forward to hearing it on Spotify. Oh, my God. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Thank you. 360 Degrees of Tasmania. Thanks for the 13 months. Have you been seeing the Mario Fast and Furious mashup movies on TikTok? No, but now no, I want to. I have not seen that at all. Uh, did you read uh, Dark Types? What's your favorite couple in a video game to celebrate the month of love? Oh, no. If it's a, if it's lower than 100 bits, it doesn't come up in, oh, okay. uh, in Streamlabs. Oh, it does for me. What? Dark Type resubbed uh, for 27 months. Oh, I didn't. That's not on my list at all. Huh. That should that should be, but it's not. Yeah. What What did it say? What uh, it? What's your favorite couple in a video game to celebrate the month of love? Couple in a video game. Yeah. Damn. Video games are very bad at love stories. Yeah, no, they are. I was so, I was thinking like Mario and Peach. No, no, definitely not. I've heard argument that the Prince of Persia and uh, I think his name is Farah from Sands of Time is like top of the list okay and that was a very good love story because like both characters evolved over time Mm -hmm. what Uh, about leon and ada that's not really a love story okay i mean it could have been but then they brought ada back and she's like hey spy boy (laughs) he's like i'm gonna put a knife to your throat okay Oh, here's a rocket launcher (laughs) i don't know yeah and then there's like sonic and amy which is cool but like it's just sonic hating her and then her being all over negging they call it negging yeah so i can't i'm trying to think it's like a good couple in a you know game that's the thing like like even as game stories get progressively better like romance and like relationships just haven't evolved yeah at all and like especially in mainstream video games you ever play lovers in a dangerous space time yeah that's great that's good there you go do that yeah there's no story at all it's uh, just... <laughs> and if you're single and lonely uh play the game florence because it's about a girl going through a breakup oh, that was a phenomenal game. yeah that was a lot of fun <laughs> that was a phenomenal game uh all right well anyway uh <laughs> flo says bill and frank you know what yeah, yeah. um <laughs> All right, now we're on N64. Yes. Uh, Dr. Mario 64, we said. We're not placing. Uh, Ocarina of Time. It's a good. It's, it's, good. it's a good game. I just, it's not my favorite. Yeah. Um, B. All right, I wrote SNES by accident. Uh, B, sure. B is full filled to the brim right now. I, that's the thing. Like, No, this... you know what? I'm putting it at the bottom of A. Okay, fine. For you. <laughs> It's a good game. I just think it it, it it was it was a product of its time. Yeah. You know? Uh all right. Uh next is Mario Kart sixty four. 
It's that's great. I have Mario a lot of fond six... memories of this game. I will put this in A tier. Okay, yeah. it's a great game. I, I'm not a big fan of Mario Kart games, but this might be the best one, or my favorite. Eight is the best one. This had the best battle mode. Okay, yes, the battle mode was good. Where does it go in A tier? Okay. Above Star Fox? Yeah, above Star Fox. Above Dream Course? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm not doing that. Okay. Dream Course is sick. Okay. Dream Course is a better multiplayer game. Damn, son. All right. It's All going right. between Star Fox and Kirby's Dream Course. Okay. All right, next. Mario Tennis. It's good. The only good Mario Tennis game? Question mark? <laughs> How much of this have I played? Because I've definitely played this. It was good. I okay. Be- I believe it is the only good Mario. I don't think I've played much of this. Uh, all right. Where does it go? I guess just put it in B tier. Okay. S- <laughs> throw it. <laughs> throw it <laughs> where it lands. I'll, I'll fucking put it below Zelda. Okay. It's going to take me a minute. What's next? Sin and Punishment. Now you play this. I played this. Uh, I need to play it again now that I have an N64 controller for Switch. So okay. I can actually play it properly. But it's good. When did it's... you get that? Uh, the Retro Fighter one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, huh, you got to sell. Oh, you know what? We'll get to it. C- keep d- Do your. What? Well, it's, it's we'll, we're going to get to something later okay. about, about that. But... Okay. Okay. All right, Sin and Punishment is a good game. It's wild. It's a lot of shit flying at you, and you gotta like take it down. Um, it's very, it's very fast. It's very interesting. Uh, it was originally a Japanese only release, but it was fully translated in English. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I remember back in 1999 reading an IGN article on how to modify your N64 to play specifically Sin and Punishment. Oh, so that's why you really wanted it. That's why like this game's always fascinated me because you've wanted to play it, but you haven't had the opportunity to until yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to play the the Wii game, Star Successor, mm-hmm. the sequel to it, but I never got around to playing that. And I were kicking myself for not buying it at the, the Long Island Retro Festival last year. All right, so where does this go? I would put this bottom of A tier, top of B tier. Okay. So it's going below Ocarina. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah. All right. Uh, next. Star Fox 64. Oh, fantastic game. S tier game. game. Absolutely. Uh yeah, S tier? Yeah, I would is say that S- good? I would say this is the best Star Fox game. This uh, is one of the best games on the system. Above Tetris? <laughs> <laughs> but These low. are the types of really hard questions we have to ask ourselves. I would put it below Tetris. Okay, yeah. so it's the bottom of S tier right yeah. now. But it's still it's still an S tier. It's a phenomenal game. Yeah. S tier is a high regard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next is Super Mario 64. Oh, S tier. S tier. Absolutely. Uh, below the other Mario games? Yes. I was just going to say definitely above Tetris. Yeah. Just because like, I hate to say this, like the, the, uh, the age of the game. So I don't, I'm, I'm having an internal struggle with this game because I think that it holds up in a lot of ways. Mm Mm-hmm. But I also just could be really used to the mechanics. Right. That's something I'm coming to terms with with Goldeneye, which we'll talk about okay. later. Because Goldeneye has horrible mechanics. Okay. But I feel like I have a grasp for them. Okay. We'll talk about it okay. when we get to Goldeneye. Uh, so Super Mario 64, I am going to put... Is it better or worse than Super Metroid? I don't think... Uh, I think Super Metroid's better. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put it above the original Super Mario Bros. Though. Okay. I do think it's better than that. Okay. Because I, I, I mean, I like the original Super Mario Bros., but mechanically, Super Mario 64 is better. Um, win back? God, this. this... <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> Nothing. Like, ah, this game's so adorable. <laughs> it just is. Like, it, it's. It's ahead of its time in a lot of ways, but it's also behind the times in a lot of ways. I tried to play it's, it, and it is... It's, it's like, like, it tries. It, it tries. goes for it. It's like, it really, really difficult to play. Yeah. it, it, it It's almost there. Mm-hmm. Like, if they redid this with, like, modern controls... It, no, it wouldn't be the same. 
It's, it's got to be a little jank. I do have the PS2 version of Win Back. I should try that. That might be that, better. If that's any better. It has voice acting. Mm-hmm. Oof. Um, oh God, I, I can't. It's hard to say anything bad about Win Back. Like, it's just, it's like a, it's like a three-legged puppy trying to play <laughs> soccer. Like, oh, you just bless its heart. I want to put it in C. <laughs> I mean, I, that's where it belongs. <laughs> This poor game. But we it, liked this game. I, I remember playing yes, it as a yes. child, but I don't remember much about I, it. And I tried to replay it, and I just couldn't I grasp remember, it. Because you know, and I know I said this when the game came out on Switch Online. It's like it's the the the, the definition of I want to play Metal Gear Solid. We have Metal Gear Solid <laughs> at home. <laughs> I'm putting it below uh, Metroid. Okay, in C tier. <laughs> Uh, and then next is Yoshi's Story. This is a this is a baby game. <laughs> I'm not placing it. Okay. Uh, as yeah, I'm not placing right. it. I haven't played it, and I don't think it's gonna be good. Paper Mario. This is good. This is good. We like Paper Mario. Yeah. This is a good one. I liked it when it came out. I enjoyed yeah. it. It was weird and wacky, and not the Mario that I was expecting. Yes. But I did have a good time with it. Yes. I remember. Uh, B tier, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Where in B tier? Did I fill up B tier again already? Ha- Jesus, Jesus Christ, Louise. man! We love B tier. Most games are just just fine. all right. They're just yeah. passable. Um, I'm putting it below Mario Kart and above Mario Land Two. Okay, how about that? Okay. Uh, next is Banjo Kazooie. Okay. Uh, I haven't played much of Banjo. Me neither. Do we ignore it? I, I I feel like like we should, but I feel like we can't because it's one of the biggest N sixty four games. Yeah, but I haven't played it. I know much. it's like good, but yeah. like I don't play it that much. All right, well, we least... did rent it back in the day. Did we? I don't think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. I have definitely played it. But not enough. Are you thinking of Conker's Bad Fur Day? Because we played a lot. No, of No, we Bad did Fur play Day. a lot of that. Because we're like, oh my god, boo! Yeah, oh, he says the he says the fuck word. He says fuck in this game, mom. Can I? Can we rent this? Yeah, for the fifth time. Okay, All we're right. not we're not placing. That. Okay, Majora's Mask, Majingle, yeah, Majabi, Tingle. Uh, I haven't played it honestly. Yeah, me either. I know I'm not gonna like it because I don't like uh. I didn't really like Ocarina that much. Yeah. Like, it's good, but, like, I don't... It's not my type of game. Yeah. Uh, F-Zero X. I haven't played that much. Uh, like, I played enough to, like, just see how it runs, because it's, yeah. it's, like, the, the highest demanding N64 yeah. game, and I always, like, play through one level, and, like, that's it. But I feel like that doesn't give me a good grasp of the game. I would put this at the bottom of A tier, because okay. it's the best F-Zero game on the system. <laughs> On the system, on the Switch right now. Okay, yeah, because like I played, it, I played enough of it to like say like this is a good game. Would it's you say bottom difficult. of A? Bottom of A. Okay, difficult for sure, but okay, All right. and it does run good. Yeah, on the Switch. Mario, Mario Golf. Golf. Have not played this one. Um, have I? Uh, I'm moving. No, we're we're okay. skipping it. Uh, Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. No, have not played that either. Mar- uh, uh, Pokemon Snap is is dog shit. <laughs> it's a dog shit game. Oh man, um, I liked it when it came out, but it's literally just a movie you're watching. Yeah, it's really hard to rank this very high because it's it's not really a game; it's a sightseeing tour. Yeah, like I played Walking Simulators in more depth than this. Top of D tier. Okay. So it's in the same category as Ice Climbers and Yoshi. <laughs> uh, Custom Robo. No. One and two. Okay. Skip. Pokemon Puzzle League. I have I have got nothing to say about that. Me neither. Wave Race 64 is very good. Good game. Yes. Uh, Either top of B or bottom of A. One of those. Hmm. You mean bottom of A, top of B? Yes. I'm gonna say bottom of A because B is getting is getting filled to the bottom, okay. and I don't want to move everything over. So it's right below F Zero X. Got it. Which I think is fair. Uh, Pilot Wings is very good. Yes, this one is a good one. Yes. Now where does it go? Uh, is it A good? This might have to be a B. So okay. We might have to yeah. throw this in B. 
it's very good, but I don't know if it's that good. So in B, we will put it right below Paper Mario. How about that? Okay. That okay. works. Where are we at? Uh, pile- well, we did Pilot Wing 64. Mario Party 1 and 2. <laughs> I hate Mario Party. Yeah. And these are no exception. So E tier? E tier. <laughs> How much do I want to shit on Mario Party? Um, I will put them in D above Pokemon Snap. Okay. Because I, I, I think I, I have a lot of hate in my heart for, for Mario Party. Right. But they're fine. Yeah. They're fine games. Okay. So I'm just going to put one Mario Party game and then that'll mean both of them. Okay. Um, Golden Eye, we made it. Yes, we um, made it to Golden Eye. Okay, it's an incredible game. I cannot mm-hmm. rank this game lower than an S tier game. Okay, damn. I cannot. All I right. will not allow you put this game anywhere else. It is definitely the bottom of S tier. Fine. <laughs> I'll let you have that. It's a phenomenal game. It's a great game. It hold it holds up just well enough. It's fun. There's it's, it's still very yes. fun. It, it's just that uh it, and it's a product of its time. Yes. Much like what I shit on Ocarina of Time for. Yeah. The controls are fucking abysmal. <laughs> but I feel like I have a grasp for them because I've played this so much. I think a big problem is the N64 controller because games had to be designed for that controller. Yeah. And it is so weird and cumbersome and unwieldy that games have suffered for it going so, forward i wouldn't put that much blame on the n64 controller they did have to design it around that but it is i think it's more so that there were no standardized uh first person controls at the time no but at the time i think that golden handled it better than most other first yes. person shooters on the N64. They did the well. They did the best job with doing controls for first person for years. Yeah, like they, it, the control scheme is fucked by today's standards. But yeah. back then, there was like a f- there was a five or six year period after GoldenEye where there were still games coming out with horrible first person controls, oh. even on PC. On N64 specifically, a lot of the first-person shooters that came out, like Rainbow Six or yeah. Turok, um, they made you use the C buttons for walking and strafing mm-hmm. and the analog stick to look around, mm-hmm. which is the reverse of what it is that we're used to. Yeah. And I've, I've always found that control set up objectively worse yeah. than the GoldenEye style when yeah. you move with the analog stick. I, yeah, I think that GoldenEye did it great at the time. And that's yeah. why I think I'm comfortable with it, playing with it now. Right. But uh, we're ranking these all against each other in all different timelines. And yeah. and, and somebody who's picking up Nintendo Switch Online right now is going to play these games, you mm-hmm. know? So that's why, looking at it from that lens... Uh, I think there's a lot of stuff in S tier that is better than Goldeneye. But I do right. think that Goldeneye is one of the best games yeah. on the platform for sure. Um so y- have you played this yeah. version? Yeah. Uh I played with, it with I, the controller? I played it with I played it with the joy um uh, in handheld mode, like mm-hmm. with the Joy Cons, and I played it with the Retro Fighters Brawler 64 right. controller. Def- it definitely plays better with that controller. Okay. However, okay. However, and this is not their fault. This is Nintendo's fault. So the the Brawler sixty four actually has two Z buttons, right? Which is actually good. On a regular Brawler sixty four controller, it just maps both buttons to Z. Oh, we've so talked they, about this. Yes. Yeah. So they both do the same thing. On the Switch, 
it maps the left Z to ZL and the right Z to ZR. Yeah. By default. And ZR on Switch Online opens up the options menu for N64. Which is just the absolute like worst design. Yeah. It, it, every emulator makes it so that both the triggers is Z. Yeah. And that's how it should yeah. be. I think if Nintendo would just fucking implement button remapping yeah. for N64 games, that would solve a lot of problems. Or if they just did a custom control setup for GoldenEye, because we know they've done it. Sin and yeah. Punishment has a different controller setup than all the other ones. Yeah. Um, so that, I think, is holding this game back. Because, you know, the Xbox version of GoldenEye uses modern control setup. Mm-hmm. Nobody complains there. Yeah, no, it definitely needs a modern control setup, yeah. uh, especially for people who are trying it out for the first time. They're going to yeah. play it and they're going to be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Um, now, do you think that the Retro Fighters controller gives you an unfair advantage when you're playing online with other people? Mm. Do I? Mm. Yes. Fuck you. you got, well... <laughs> Because it's so much easier to play with that than it's than not on. that much easier. I think it. I think it might. It, be. it. It's easier to strafe. Yeah, which is very important when you're playing multiplayer. Yeah, but it's not that much easier to strafe. Again, this game was designed for an N64 controller, and if you're playing on something that isn't the exact button layout of an N64 controller, you're gonna have a harder time. Yeah, that's why I think you have, especially if you're not used to those controls. Yeah. But I did play it with both. I played it with the uh, Pro Controller and then with the Retro Fighters Controller. And it is way more comfortable to play on a Retro Fighters Controller. Yeah. But I don't think it gives you a competitive edge. I mean, your own abilities have to account for a lot. Yes. Obviously. But I think if you know what you're doing, having the right tools can help. Yes. Wood was giving me a lot of shit saying that uh, the the only reason why I was any good at... Golden Eye Online was because I had the Retro Fighters controller. He's blaming it all on the controller. Like the controller helped me aim. Okay. See, I don't. You just fucking got auto aim. The game. The game's got it auto does. aim. It does. And I'll be honest. Like when you have to like go into like the precision aiming mode. Yeah. You you have like you have to hold it, and it's really hard. And it's yeah. it's hard on a pro controller. It's hard on Especially a Retro Fighters controller. On a, you know, in modern shooters, yeah. you. You know, you precision aim with the left trigger and then you fire with the right trigger. Yeah. In Goldeneye, you do both on the left side and that <laughs> trips me up. Yeah. Well, no, it's both. Uh, it's L and R both aim. Right. They both but aim. But either yes. way, I got to either do it backwards or I got to do it all on the left side. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. So. Uh, and the hardest part is it snaps to the middle. Yeah. So you have to hold, you ADS and then you have to hold. A direction with the thumbstick and yeah. it snaps in the and middle it's so it's hard no matter slow what slow to move the crosshair across yeah. the screen yeah. yeah it sucks yeah so that's why I, that game's got fucking auto aim so yeah. it just you gotta learn how to manipulate the auto aim yeah anyway golden eyes great game yeah golden eyes great five star check it out uh there's a bunch of games coming out that we're not gonna play so no. we decided we're not doing that but, but 1080 snowboarding phenomenal game Absolutely. that would be s tier yes uh and that's all i that will play yeah all right Recap. I'm going to show my screen. Hopefully, this thing doesn't break. Uh, recap. For S tier, we got Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Metroid, Mario 64, Mario Brothers, uh, or Super Mario Brothers, Tetris, Star Fox 64, and GoldenEye in that order. A tier, yes. we got uh, Link to the Past, Yoshi's Island, Mario 2, uh, River City Ranch, and Punts Out, uh, Dream Course, Kirby's Dream Course. Super Mario 64, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, I'm sorry, Mario Kart 64, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Zelda DX, Earthbound, Ocarina of Time, Sin of Punishment, F-Zero X, Wave Race. Yes. Jesus Christ. Holy hell. Last but not least. Well. Oh, shit. We got Sega. Sega. Shit. (laughs) Fuck. I forgot about (laughs) Sega. God. Everybody forgets about Sega, and then all of a sudden, they just show up. It just shows up. Yeah. All right, we're going to have to push aside a lot of these. Castlevania Bloodlines, I'm not talking about that. Good game, though. Have you played it? Yeah. Okay, where are you, where are you putting it? Uh, top of B tier. So okay. Towards the top of B tier. Okay. Uh, oh, I did N64 by accident. Uh, okay, next. Uh, Contra Hardcore. 
Also a good game. Probably put it next to Castlevania. Okay. Uh, next is Doctor. That, those are both top of B tier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next is Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> this is a good game. It's just like Poyo Poyo. Game. It's not just Poyo Poyo. It is just Poyo Poyo, but it's a good game. Okay. I like this game. Where does it go then? B tier, top B tier. With it, okay. Yeah. Uh, Echo the Dolphin sucks. Bad game. Bad game. Pretty bad. B tier, absolutely. Uh, Golden Axe, uh, middle of B tier. It's good. Um, it's kind of outdated compared to other brawlers of this style. Uh, uh, okay, I'm 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 very slow right now. Okay, Echo the Dolphin. E. Okay. Absolutely E tier. Uh top? But wor- better or worse than Tech Mobile? Worse. Wow. It's probably the worst game on the list. Okay. I'll put it at the bottom of E yeah. tier that it's the it is the worst game right now. Yeah. Um What was it after Echo? Golden Axe. Golden Axe. That's pretty good. Yeah. You, I would put it in the put it in the middle of B. Middle of B tier, just because I feel like it's it's a little bit dated compared to like the other uh games of its genre in Right at this time. Okay, that will go. Um, fuck it above Kirby. How about that? Okay, that works. Okay, what's next? Gunstar Heroes. That game is great. A tier. We like Gunstar yeah, Heroes. Gunstar Heroes is great. That is an A tier game, hands down. Uh, next is Musha, which I haven't played, but I've heard is fun. Next is Fantasy Star Four. Nope, which I haven't played, but I heard is very good. Puyo Puyo. We ranked Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rise Star. I wish I played more of Rise Star. I, I, the game is very fascinating to me. I'm going to skip it because I haven't played enough to. One of these days. Would you put my... Gunstar Heroes above Sin and Punishment? Yes. Okay. Both made by Treasure. Really? So, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I wish I could I wish I wish could rank on Rise Star because I feel like I should, but I can't. Um, Shining Force. Haven't played. Uh, Shinobi 3. Oh, it's just the best Sega Genesis game. It it's it. I think it's tied with Sonic Three. To be completely honest, mm. I think it's that good. Okay. Would you put an S tier then? Um, honestly, yeah. Okay. Or top of A. Because the next game on this list, I would put an S tier. What is that? Sonic Two. Okay. You know what? If you're putting that in S, I'm putting uh, Shinobi 3 in S. There you go. Uh, Shinobi 3. Wait. Is Shinobi 3 the good one? Yeah. Shinobi yeah. 3 is the good one. Shinobi, yeah. Okay. So that is going in S. I'm putting it at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. I'm putting it at the bottom of S. Uh, and then Sonic 3. Sonic 3. Sonic, no, 2. Sonic 2 is not better than Sonic 3. No. But I feel like we sometimes forget how not just good but important Sonic 2 is. Yes. But because it I'm putting it below Shinobi 3. Okay. I will say I there's one thing about Sonic 2 that I like more than Sonic 3. Okay. And that is how you access the Chaos Emeralds. I don't like I've grown to not like how in Sonic 3 you have to find the ring. Yeah, that that's the cuz Sonic has never really been about exploration and that like forces you to explore the levels and that grinds things to a halt yeah it, it gets annoying in the later levels yeah. for sure sonic 2 i like how when you go past a ring po- uh, a safe post with 50 rings the stars come up and you just enter it yeah i feel like that's a better implementation and even in sonic 1 50 rings by the end of the level you can play i just feel like the ring posts give you more opportunities to i agree with you on that yeah. uh i do like getting supersonic and it is a little annoying finding the rings yeah uh yeah it makes it a little a little annoying um okay where i don't know where we are uh so we just did sonic uh, 2 streets of rage 2 you like this this is the best streets of rage game uh this is definitely a, an a tier game okay uh what's in the middle of a tier Ooh, we got a lot baby okay. uh mario kart 64 kirby's dream course punch out that's actually kind of high uh S- star fox Zelda, Earthbound. Put it above Punch Out. Above Punch Out? Yeah. That's pretty high. Yeah. No, That's it's, below. It's very uh, good. It's, is it better than River City Ransom for the NES? Yes. Okay. So it's below Mario 2. I'm not putting it bo- above Mario no, 2. No, no. I wouldn't. Okay. 
Next is Strider. Strider's good. Good. But yeah. It's not that good. No. Um, the HD Strider was really good though. Yes. 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 That that's a fairly modern game. Yeah. Uh, Strider. I don't. You know what? I haven't played that much of it. Yeah. I just I know I play it for two seconds. I'm like, this doesn't feel good. Yeah. You know what? That's enough to place it. I'm placing it. Okay. Uh, we're putting it pretty low though. B tier or no C tier? Let's see. C. Bottom of C. Yeah. Bottom of C. It's below the Donkey Kong games. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be good, but it's it's really not that good. Yeah. Altered Beast sucks. Sucks. Yeah. How bad it's, it's is not, it? Suck? It's, it's not a good game. It's um, it's definitely a D tier game at most. Okay, I'm putting yeah. it at the bottom then. Yeah, put it's it below at the Yoshi. Key. Yeah, it's not a good Screw game. It. Uh, Dynamite Heady. No, haven't played. Uh, Sword of Vermilion. Haven't played. Thunder Force Two. Haven't played. Toe Jam and Earl. Not good. Not that good. It's just so bizarre. Yeah, I would maybe like the top of D. Top of D. Let's see here. Above, that... above Mario Party. Yeah, sure. Because you know why? Because it's got personality. And <laughs> yeah, Mario Party doesn't have any. Yeah sure uh alien soldier no now i i should that's another game i should play uh light crusader super fantasy zone no shining force 2 sonic spinball sonic spinball i loved this game as a child playing it now it is not that good <sighs> yeah i, I want to like it more i have such fond memories of this game but like yeah. i understand it's failings i would probably put this like what c tier uh yeah, I will put it at the bottom. Okay. It's going below Strider. It's pretty sad. It's fair. Uh Space Harrier 2. No. Uh Comic Zone, you played a decent amount God, of this. I've played this and I don't like it. Comic Zone. Comic Zone is good if you play it with the invincibility cheat on. Okay. Cause and that's that's not how you should play a video game. I would put this in C tier just, you know, for its creativity and originality alone. I'm putting it uh, below Balloon Fight. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it, it's just, it's un, it's needlessly difficult. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mega Man Wily Wars. This is uh, the Mario All-Stars version of Mega Man 1, 2, and 3. I don't want to place it because okay. I, I don't know how much better or worse it is. Right. I've played it, but I don't. I'm not familiar enough to place it. Uh, f- Target Earth, Earth Zero Wing. Yeah, Zero Wing. I would put that on there just because of all your base everyone to us. Okay, where would you put it? Because uh, of it? see, <laughs> okay, it's a fine shoot 'em up. Okay. Uh, bottom of C. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next is Alicia Dragoon. Nope. I've heard it's a good game. Uh, Beyond Oasis, their Legend of Zelda. Nope. Earthworm Jim. Jim. They don't have Earthworm Jim two on this. No, it, this is weird because Earthworm Jim is available on Sega Genesis, right? But Earthworm Jim two is available on Super Nintendo. So where do we put Earthworm Jim two? We put that pretty high. Yeah, I would just put this next to Earthworm Jim two. I think Earthworm Jim two might be better though. Where the hell? Oh, we uh, put it at the bottom of B. Yeah. So this is going below Earthworm Jim 2 and above Gargoyle's Quest and okay. Kirby's Dream Land. Okay. Okay. Uh, next is Alien Storm. Nope. Nope. Columns, which is just Bejeweled. Nope. <laughs> okay. Golden Axe 2. Can, can I, I place that? No, we play, placed Golden Axe 1. No, but can we place 2? No, because I actually haven't placed Okay. That. Virtual Fighter 2. It's not that good. Is this the one we had? Yeah. I liked this game. It's not. I have to replay it. Yeah, I, I don't want to place I, it. I would, my, I would my, place my infant it. mind might be playing it tricks D. on me. It's not good. All right, then I'll okay. place it in D. Okay. I remembered liking this game. I played it a lot. Yeah. It's... I don't know what compelled me to do that. I don't know. But I remember having a good time with this game. So D? D. Okay. Uh, Putting it at the top. All right. Because it's going above Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> All right, we did a Sega. Yay. Yay. All right, now we're on Game Boy Advance. Finally, what you've all been waiting for. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, wait. I need to do a little... Do I? No, I'm not doing a recap. Right. We'll do the recap uh, at the end of this. All right. Uh, 
Kuru Kuru Kuruin. You did it. You nailed it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I haven't played it. Me neither. Uh, the Minish Cat. Zelda the Minish Cat. I haven't played it. I played a little bit of it. It's cute. It's charming. Uh, I don't know if I played enough to place it, though. Okay. So so we won't. Okay. Superstar Saga, Mario and Luigi. I haven't played that. Me neither. Uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit is fucking absolute dog it shit. It is bad. It is yeah. bad. I do like that you could link it. Well, no. It, this doesn't... We're doing this in the form of... Uh, Switch Online. Switch Online. Yeah. And you you all need a Switch Online subscription. So yeah. if you could play this with somebody who has a regular Switch Online subscription and not the expansion pass, that'd be cool. Yeah. But you can't. So no. So this is bad. <laughs> I will put it bottom of D. Is it worse than Altered Beast? No, it's not worse than Altered I'm Beast. I'm putting it at the top of D then. Yeah. Top of D. It's going above uh, Virtual Fighter. Yeah, that seems like a good place for it. Uh, Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Brothers 3. Fucking awesome. Very good. This is going in S. Mm -hmm. Uh, This is going in S. It is the better version of Super Mario Brothers 3. Yes. Because it's the same game. But uh, you get a bunch of added... It was like... It gives you like a million added levels. Yeah. So we're putting this in S, but where in S? Maybe right behind Mario Three. No, I mean above Mario Three because it's a better yeah. version of Mario Three. It's got to go. That's putting it really high though. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. We're doing it. All right. Boom. It's it's now number two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, WarioWare Inc. is very good. Yes, uh, I did play this. What do you think? A tier. Yes. Okay. It's A tier. Let's see where it goes. Uh, A tier. I'd rather play Kirby's Dream Course. I will put it above Earthbound. All right. And below Zelda DX. It's very good. I recommend everybody okay. try it out. Uh, F zero maximum velocity. Oh, this is to be announced. Yeah, to be. Announced. Oh, so we did it. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Yay! Yay! Okay, I will show my screen and we will go through just the S and A tiers. This is the final verdict. Okay. Yeah. Super Mario World, Super Mario Brothers three for the Game Boy Advance, mm-hmm. Super Mario Brothers three for the NES, uh, Super Metroid, Super Mario sixty four. Super Mario Brothers, mm. Tetris, Star Fox 64, GoldenEye 007, Shinobi 3, Sonic 2. Yes. For A tier, we got Link to the Past, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Brothers 2, Streets of Rage 2, River City Ransom, Punch Out, Kirby's Dream Course, uh, Mario Kart 64, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Zelda DX Link's Awakening, uh, Mario uh, WarioWare Inc, Earthbound, Zelda Ocarina of Time, Gunstar Heroes, S- Sin and Punishment, F Zero X, and Wave Race, and then B tier we got a billion games. Yeah. B tier, I'm not gonna even do that. Uh, I don't know how to like. Maybe I'll t- I'll tweet this from the uh, Wolf Den account mm-hmm. in a little bit so you can compare. Uh, because this is just a massive. A really terribly organized list, <laughs> but uh, you'll check it out and compare. Go to twitter.com slash the wolf den and scroll down a little bit, and you'll see the, the the final list here. Or if you're here on Twitch right now, I will uh, you could clip this and I'll do a scroll. You ready? Here we go. We're scrolling, we're scrolling, 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 scrolling. That's now, is there any we're out of time already? I know. <laughs> Is there any important news we should talk about? I don't think so. I think honestly, kind of looked like nothing important. Yeah, I mean, there's there's things to talk about. I would say like Microsoft signed an actual like contract with Nintendo. Let's talk about that. Bring, that's that's very important. Not just Nintendo, but also Nvidia. Because the big news is that Microsoft signed an actual binding contract with Nintendo. To bring Microsoft games, specifically Call of Duty, to Nintendo consoles for the next 10 years. Right. 
And they've also signed a deal with NVIDIA to bring Microsoft games, including Call of Duty, to NVIDIA's GeForce Now streaming service. Oh, that's very strange. Yes. So, okay. I tweeted that this is really cool and we're excited that this happened. But it, it let's not forget this is completely to get the EU off of their back. Absolutely. Because of the acquisition. Yeah. And a lot of people were like fighting me on that. What, but I don't really like un- I don't understand why. It's obvious. <laughs> people I guess the biggest uh criticism I was getting was that uh this was this was probably gonna happen anyway. But it's the urgency and the uh and and it's it's like I don't think they would have signed an agreement. They wouldn't have made it public now. Yeah. Uh I don't think they would have signed an agreement with NVIDIA. Like that is clearly just to be like, okay, here. You don't yeah. like that we're because one of the things that the EU is fighting them over is that Game Pass is the biggest streaming service. Right. So they're like, okay, fine. We'll give it to another streaming service. So that is 100% because of the EU. Uh, Microsoft is bringing Xbox PC games to NVIDIA's GeForce Now cloud gaming service. Speaking at a press conference in Brussels today, which is in Europe, uh, Microsoft's president, Jesus Brad Christ. Smith, announced the news uh, as it seeks to convince the EU regulators to approve the proposed Activision Blizzard acquisition. I just spilled water all myself. Is that- Quote, uh, Microsoft will bring will be bringing its Xbox games that play on PC to NVIDIA's GeForce Now cloud gaming service. Um, we will also bring all of Activision Blizzard's titles, including Call of Duty, to GeForce Now. Yeah, that's th- that is because of the acquisition. Yeah. That's crazy. They also said that they wanted to work with PlayStation, but they haven't yeah. done that. And PlayStation isn't doing that because PlayStation doesn't want to give their hand. We've talked yeah. about this a million times yeah. already. So, um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think you're wrong. I think like they've said, like they've said in the past, like we will bring call of duty to Sony and Nintendo systems for the next 10 years. Yeah. Um, I believe them that they would have done that anyway, yeah. but I don't believe them that they would have done G force now anyway. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, cause th- that's a direct competitor. <laughs> yeah. And, but the G force thing, not only they bring call of duty, they said they're bringing Xbox PC, any Xbox game that's already on PC. Yeah. So that means halo infinite. That means Forza. That means, of uh, the next year's of war game. And that's a huge win for Nvidia. Even yeah. though Nvidia spoke out against the acquisition. Yeah. This is still a huge win for yeah. them. Uh, f- Brad Smith also tweeted um, specifically Microsoft and Nintendo have now negotiated and signed a binding 10 year legal agreement to bring Call of Duty to Nintendo players the same day as Xbox with full features and content parity so they can experience Call of Duty just as Xbox and PlayStation gamers enjoy Call of Duty. We are committed to providing long term equal access to Call of Duty to other gaming platforms, uh, bringing more choice to more players and more competition to the market. Mm hmm. Yeah, so again, I think this is great news for yeah. us, but uh, also let's keep in mind that the only reason this is happening is because uh, there's pressure from a government entity to, to yes. do it. And it's not an American entity, it's a European I mean, entity. Look, the FTC is like, you know, keeping an eye on this. Yeah. And um, I guess this would put them in the good graces of the FTC. Yeah. But, but they're not in, in direct legal battle with the FTC right now. Right. I think... You know, if the EU denies it, then the FTC is going to deny it. Yeah. And if the EU approves it, then the FTC is going to approve it. Right. I think the FTC is just looking at the EU going like, what are you going to do, buddy? Yeah. So tell me what to do. <laughs> Somebody brought up, uh, this is why uh, the next iPhone is going to have a USB-C port. That's like the rumor right now is, is <sighs> like there was leaks of, of the model of the new iPhone. Right. right. And that has a USB-C port. Supposed. I mean, they've been rumoring that's going to fucking have right. a USB-C port for the past like six years. Well, and then, yeah, because in the EU, they made it so like certain devices, like mobile devices, have to have a USB-C yeah, port. Yeah, they made a charging. law that USB-C right. is the standard. But... And I know you follow MKBHD, and yeah. I agree with him on this. That it's very possible that Apple could just make a portless iPhone yes. and make it all wireless, wireless charging, wireless, uh, tra- like connecting to PC. Um, allegedly, that's why they've been pushing for uh, not just Qi wireless charging. That's why they're part of that, but uh, they've been pushing MagSafe heavily yeah. Yeah. on all their devices now 
to the point where apparently they're going to offer i forgot if they were offering it to chi or the usb um, conglomerate uh the, they're going to offer the magsafe layout to them for other companies to use for free that's crazy i mean it's gonna it's apple so like if you want specific mac safe features you gotta like get the license right um but you know that way more things have mac safe you know people will buy iphones they'll have more mac safe accessories they can buy so i got um a, a wireless an apple wireless charger because my uh lightning port was all fucked up yeah and then i realized that uh it was just dust and i cleaned it out and yeah. it was fine uh but i actually like it i actually like putting it the only problem that i have with it is if i want if my phone's dying and i want to like look at something while i'm in bed then i'm yeah. just screwed so i have you got me one that's really nice it charges everything mm-hmm. that one like i have to lay it down like very specifically so do i yeah yeah it's very annoying i have an anchor one that i it stands up mm-hmm. and those work so much better well, what phone do you have uh the 11 so, so do i i yeah. think that the newer ones have MagSafe well, yeah. with the, the magnet, so the, it, yeah, the twelve on how I have MagSafe. Yeah, that's the thing that yeah. we're missing out on. Yeah, I want to. I'm gonna probably get the new one when it comes out this year. Yeah. I want to put wireless charging in my nightstand. I'm gonna yeah. drill a little thing for it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, last thing I want to talk about: Tetris movie looks very great. It does. It, it looks, looks very awesome. Good. I can't wait for that <laughs> to come out. Um, could it be the best video game movie of the year? I don't know. We'll see. It looks a little weird and like and like uh, I don't want to say like independent, but it, like it, 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 you know, it looks a lot more dramatic. Look, I know the story behind Tetris is like very dramatic because they did have to do a lot of like political maneuvering because mm-hmm. it was owned by the Russian government at the time during during Soviet Russia. So there was a lot of like political like movement going on to get the game onto the Nintendo yeah. Game Boy. This movie just makes it look like so much more dramatic than it actually yeah. was. I was getting a Game Historian's video on Tetris uh, uh, su- suggested to me on YouTube. It's five years old, that video. Yeah. But I, I want to watch that now because um, I want the real story, too. Yeah. Uh, it made me think, though, like, this could be a good way to tell video game stories for, like, other video, like, other popular video games. Like, maybe the story, like, maybe it doesn't have a story, but there's a behind the scenes story that's fascinating. We need console wars in in a in a movie format. Like I've this. seen the documentary, like, and that was good. But yeah, console wars would be good. Uh, I do not want a Duke Nukem movie, but I want a Duke Nukem Forever behind the scenes movie. Oh yeah, I would love <laughs> to see that. Okay, let's stop. Okay, the, there's a Tears of the Kingdom art book leak, but nobody we're gonna get in trouble for showing that. Yeah, anyway. uh, Redfall. Apparently, there was gonna be. The physical version was not going to come with the disc, but it is. But the PC physical version doesn't come with the disc. Whatever. Okay. We, we don't need to. Um, we don't need to recap everything. There's really not much here. Yeah. Uh, multiverses player count plummeted. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Who? That's like obvious shit. Yeah. Um, CD Projekt Red displaying the realistic vaginas. That's excuse all. me. <laughs> excuse me. Probably, I, apparently, like there was a like they were showing off like an update for The Witcher Three. And the footage had like a mod of like realistic vaginas. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Very interesting. And the Evo lineup was announced while we were talking about. Is there Smash yeah. Brothers? Uh, I'm willing to bet no. Uh, no. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, though. That's interesting. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. 3. Never mind. Not cool. I mean, it's better than infinite. You know what's cool? Quit of the week! Quit of the week! Quit of the week! <laughs> so I didn't put this in the document. I also just pulled it now, and I also can't show it on screen. But I'll show you. Okay. This is from uh, Extra Fabulous. He's he, You've seen his comics before. Yes. Yeah, he drew that. <laughs> it's Mario fucking Toad. And that's the Tweet of the Week. Let's go over to Discord real <laughs> quick and answer like me last week's uh, Wolfman podcast. <laughs> Ooh, baby. All right. Last week's Wolfman podcast. We got... Okay. Where are you people? 
Is there just one? No. We got Mega Megan Lovett, who says, I pre-ordered Metroid Prime 4 on Amazon back in 2018. I have no idea if it'll ever ship, but I might as well keep the pre-order because their price guarantee means it, I'll get it for less than MSRP if it ever actually releases. That's a good thing. So, yeah, if she pre-ordered it for like... If she uh, pre ordered for like sixty dollars and it comes yeah. out on the Switch two for seventy dollars. Good point. Yeah. That's very smart. That's very that's very good. So move. you can't do that. You can't pre order that now. She just got yeah in right before. That's great. Yeah. Caleb Fox says, I feel like I'm cursed because it seems like remakes get announced every time I start playing older games. For example, I started playing Silent Hill two last fall. Only to have the remake announced shortly after. Similarly, I had only been playing Metroid Prime for a few days when the remaster was shadow dropped. Are there any dorm dormant game franchises I should try next? Ooh, ooh. Um, maybe this is like telling a genie to, yeah. to release a game. Maybe Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time. So Ubisoft puts that remake out finally. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, original Metal Gear. Yes, that too. Do that. Yeah. Disco Stu Magoo says, speaking of all of these unreleased slash released games being canceled as of late, which games from the past, if any, were you guys excited for before they got canned? <laughs> Fez 2 still cuts deep. I don't know about Fez 2. Uh, I I was convinced the Resident Evil Game Boy Color port was going to come out, and it never did. Yeah. Also, Sonic Extreme. That's a, that's a video game movie that should be made. The story behind Sonic Extreme. Okay. For the Sega Saturn, because like Sega demanded it get released like in November, uh, December of like ninety six, mm. but Sega also did everything they could to make sure the team making Sonic Extreme couldn't make the game. <laughs> <laughs> so this definitely exists. A game. Oh God, I can't think of one right now, but yeah. I know that there's one that like really hit deep and. and that I wanted to come out, but never actually happened. Yeah. Or that they previewed and looked really good and then just never went anywhere. Oh, you know, do you remember Trigon Planet Gunsmoke? Yes. <laughs> Look that up. Yeah. That was like a Trigon MMO for the PlayStation 2 that never released. Yeah, that looks yeah. cool. There's more, but that's yeah. one that comes to mind. Uh, Garrison4301 says, I think the idea that Nintendo would wait till the to till the release of the next console to raise the price of games is silly first from a marketing standpoint why silly the release of new hardware with this exact controversy because literally every other game company did that yeah secondly what's the likelihood that the next console will have the same price point of the current gen also they fucking did it with we proved that they deal with the wii u yeah. what's the likelihood that the next console will have the same price point of the current gen what based on the current economic trend i would expect it to be more expensive 350 dollars just to guess a huge controversy over Nintendo asking for a higher price of the of both the console and games would doom the whole thing right from the start. Just by two cents. I don't think that. I mean, definitely the next Switch is going to cost more than what yeah. the regular Switch cost at yeah. launch. Probably right at three fifty, maybe even four hundred dollars. Yeah, I think four hundred dollars um, might be because of the Steam Deck. Yeah, and a lot of other stuff that I've been seeing. No, I don't think. I think it. I think it would just be controversial in the fact that Nintendo's been the holdout. And they've generally tried to release systems and games at a lower price yeah. than their competition. But we're not living in that world anymore. And I think whatever the next Switch is, Nintendo, if it comes out at less than 350 that means it's running on really old hardware. Yeah. And it's not going to be able to compete with what's out there at all. $400 is still $100 cheaper than the competition. Yes. Uh, and all those, all those systems came out at way more money than the previous generation mm. and they started charging $70. Yeah. And the Wii U came out and they were like, "Hey, by the way, these games are going to be 60 instead of 50." Yeah. So that's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Stir Stir Sticks says, "Uh, I care about Game and Watch Gallery, but that's just nostalgia. Game Watch Gallery 2 was my first video game I ever owned and I played it a lot on my Game Boy Color. I heard that the other galleries were better." Really? Yeah. What? I don't know why. I that's I have a hard they're time. They're fucking game watch. Yeah. They're not they're not good games. Okay. Uh okay. Now we're in the chat for literally two seconds and then we're leaving because yeah. it's very late now. Also. Yeah. Uh Thrill House says PS5 famously has failed. <laughs> 
I missed what rank Wario for GBA got. Uh, it was pretty good. Oh, for GBA? Oh, you mean Wario where? Or Wario Land 4? Because that's the game I played. Wario Land 4? Did we? No, Wario, Wario Land 3 was what we ranked. Wario Land 3 is a Game Boy Color game that yes. we ranked, ranked in B tier. Yeah. Uh, Wario Where is the Game Boy Advance game that's on Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah, Wario Where. Yeah, not, there's no land. Right. Uh, that we ranked in A tier. Like, kind of towards the back end of A tier. Mm-hmm. Is Bob going to swap Raycons when the iPhone get goes portless? Going to swap two Raycons? No. I'll get a fucking wacky adapter. <laughs> I would love I to would get I, I would get AirPods over Raycons every day of the week. I I don't want to be like an AirPods bro, but yeah. they are the easiest to use. Yeah. Wireless headphones. I'm not futzing around with, with yeah. Raycons. All you do is just open it yeah. and it works. Yeah, and it syncs to my Apple TV and my Air and my iPad. Yeah, it would sync to your laptop. To like I, just, I, it just works. I but I don't like wireless for all the weird little shit that happens sometimes. Right. Like sometimes it won't connect. But of all the wireless stuff, AirPods are going to be the best ones. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yes. Bob, you should speed run Ross's Mario Maker World for fun. I still haven't beaten it. I'm on the last level. Apparently, there's a level after the one that I'm playing. Maybe <laughs> on the second to last level. Chris BX says, 3DO's release price was $700. Yes. <laughs> My yes. Uh, $700 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Bob, what do you think about GameStop manager claims company is laying off employees? I don't know anything about that. Uh, I would believe it. Yeah, but they've been laying off employees. GameStop. Is... They've been closing stores yeah. for the past like 10 years. But GameStop is a bad company. I want the beta Luigi's Mansion. The demo version they showed off at Space World was crazy. You could probably download that. Yeah. I did see, um, apparently, like the 2001 version of Duke Nukem Forever leaked. Mm -hmm. And people were trying to like rebuild that because that was the game everybody actually wanted to play. <laughs> oh, so. that's a good example of a game. This has nothing to do with what you said. Okay. That's a good example <laughs> of a game that I wish came out. Uh, Rainbow Six Patriot. Yes. Look up that trailer. It yeah. was fucking awesome. And then they made Siege. Siege. <laughs> and then I was like, this is yeah. not Rainbow Six. Aston says, I kind of wish that we got a different game on GBA than Super Mario Advance, which is basically the same game as Super Mario Bros. 3 on Super Mario All-Stars on SNES. The e-reader levels don't even work. What are you talking about? They work! Go to... Okay, go to my Twitter. There's a video on how to... Or you're on Twitch. Go to my Twitch clips. There's a <laughs> video on how to get the e-reader levels to work. They work, and they're fucking awesome. You gotta... Yeah. Uh, you, you gotta... Before you pick like a save file, you go all the way to the bottom to e-reader levels. And they're awesome. Anyway. Anyway, we're done. All right. Thanks thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting with us. As always, Wolf the Podcast is every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on twitch.tv slash Wolf. And if you can't make the show for any reason at all, we always put it up in an archive version over on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Wolf Podcast. So go and check us out over there on demand whenever you want. If you prefer to listen to us rather than watch us, you could do that as well. We're also an audio podcast on anchor.fm slash Wolf Podcast or your preferred podcast service of choice. But no matter where you get the show from, folks, Please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review us because that helps us with placement on all those respective platforms. Uh, go watch Wood. Uh, I'll see you all on Thursday, unless I get weird tomorrow, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, you know what we should have talked about? There are, they made Mega Man X in Minecraft. Cool. And I might <laughs> play that sometime because okay. it looks pretty good. Go say hi to Wood. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for joining the tier list, whatnot. I'll see y'all later. Goodbye. Bye.